No Welcome to d yes. This is Prakan Training Academy. Today, we're going to kill the entire class. All die. No, we're all dead. Sorry, all this is the last die. episode. Yeah. Goodbye. No. Shinderu. No. You don't show us live. I mean, I show us. I can see I'm showing us live. So I don't know what shit you're chatting. Alright, calm down. Okay, Fight have me. we... Have you guys done the, uh, you know, message? The go live message? Why, why Fuck the go live message. Nah, if they wanted to be here, they'd know already. <laughs> exactly. At this point, just go into like, the chat, so... Just put literally, I'm live playing D&D, &D, and then put the link Scarlet in Scarlet just said we're... That we are... It is live, so get yeah, in Yeah, we are live, I can see it. Get in the stream, please. And that is. Yeah. I just don't think I'm following you, apparently. Oh, no, I would hate to be oh, oh, it's Kestrel. Kestrel's Hi, rolling. Kestrel. Hey. Kestrel's rolling in. <laughs> hey, Kess. Uh, Bernie, do you mind doing the go live message, seeing that you don't have a million tabs open? Uh, and you know roughly what... You're, you're quite used to this. I mean, yeah, you did it last Am time. Am I? I've done it once. <laughs> yeah, I liked it last time. <laughs> Literally just put, we're live, playing D&D, &D, and put the link to, like, Josh's channel or whatever. I don't know. Do whatever you want. Guys, you're ruining the emotion of the stream. <sighs> nah, don't worry about it. Six viewers, lad. Let's go. Stream had a Welcome to the Popping stream, the everybody. As if we're not all in this call. Episode. Wait, and which one of us is... Oh, there <laughs> Who in this call can't roll, roll their eyes? I cannot roll my eyes. Try. No, I can't. Try. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> Fiona, try it. You're the only one. <laughs> I can't do it. I I'm not rolling your L's. <laughs> Look, I yeah. actually can't. Oh. There's really different roll. It's part of the Thai language. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, no, don't language. blame the other language. <laughs> no, no. What I'm saying is it's bad because in Thai, you need to be able to roll your R's, and I can't. Yeah, Which see, I, ultimately, I have a lisp and a fat tongue, so I literally have the worst like, white combination. You have a fat tongue, bro, bro. How do you do it? I do have a fat oh. tongue. I have no idea how. <laughs> but I can, like, turn my tongue into, like, a hot dog. Okay, That's guys. Hot. Let's go. Okay, Let's go. Uh, hot dog <laughs> tongue. <laughs> Hello, I'm everyone. I'm just trying to do the thing. Sorry. Yeah. Continue. I'll do the recap while you're doing it. So, hi, guys. Welcome back to D&D Academy. I'm Christian Master, Dungeon Master. With these people, you had enough time to say who you are, so fuck off. Um, it's my last come. time, uh, yeah. And who's the DM? <laughs> on the so previous episode. Five, four, last on time four, on Echo Jedi Academy. <laughs> on the yeah. previous episode, we rehashed an old plot. <laughs> we <laughs> fucked up a plant monster <laughs> again. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you teamed up with Dawn to Fuck. fight the Predator Plant Queen again. Uh, sorry. Realising that she's a bit more powerful than you once thought. Um, and with a bit of vendetta against you guys. Um, I mean, I don't know why. I like we threw ice knives at her. No. <laughs> ice knife? What's that? Don't, don't say we when you mean Bradbury and James. Hey, hey, uh, I we're a team. None of us stopped him. Oh, do, wait, none of us have ice knife repaired anymore. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah. This session, we're going to need ice knife. I'm just going to look at you and be like, well, I love you boys. Be a oh, yeah. God, this session's mostly combat. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Get your punches ready. I'm, so, I am ready. <laughs> After a bit of a uh, defeat for the school many students dying in the attack that happens upon it oh, um, student death no. let's go and uh, the buildings were mostly contained and mostly been fixed by this point and there are still remnants of giant brambles sticking out of the castle walls and that but school life continues and that and right now you are all put into a mandatory uh, assembly with the rest of the students within your uh, year. Oh Christ, long gone. <laughs> Sat together. Oh, this was full one on the time. <laughs> I remember yeah. this. Where's Clyde? Uh, before I continue, <laughs> could somebody put uh, put the uh, live announcement into Tio's button? I can't. Uh. Sure. Yeah. I can't move Wait, my character. What is this? Uh, Theo, do you have access to? Oh do, yeah, James. Okay. I just realised characters can't be moved. This is this is bullshit. 
I want to move! <gasps> How dare you not let's move our characters, Chris? Yeah, I was saying, why are we not sitting together, surely, by this point? Video's content. No, no I could be asked to rearrange it. Uh... <laughs> where the frick do you... Nephew's content got it. YouTube and Twitch. Alright. So, um, the assembly sort of starts as the headmaster addresses all of you. Like, I know the past few weeks have been a tough time for many students, but... We are going to be continuing our annually Earth Tournament Showcase. Our annually um, Tournament Showcase. I love a teacher with good grammar. <laughs> it's not the English teacher, bro. We've all got PTSD, but we're going to continue anyway. <laughs> yeah, You're fuck still it. licking your wound from being attacked and losing your friends. But here, let's just kill each other. <laughs> um, we'll be selecting the um, 16 top uh, groups within your year to go in a tournament. You will not be disqualified for the course for losing, but you will be ranked, your assessments will be ranked accordingly based on performance. Um, we have got in a um, special judge. Uh, God damn it, why do I not have my notes up? To uh, <sighs> Bad DM. Judge, yeah. To the headmaster said. You know, Where are my uh, notes? Let me get them up. <laughs> <laughs> we have a uh, special uh, guest, a uh, ex student at this academy. As um, as a older gentleman walks onto the stage, um, this here is Zardio what? Riha. Or what? Br Great. <laughs> That's not what it says, bro. What? Br <laughs> Zarido <laughs> Barra. What the fuck? Sorry, there I'm bad at pronouncing names that are put through What's Google Translate. Name? I feel sexually <laughs> unsafe! Why? Uh, Look at the surname! Yeah. And then look at my surname! Oh, it's your uh, dad! And I oop! Oh. Backstory, 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 backstory. <laughs> Why uh, are you sexually unsafe? <laughs> this is, oh, it's an <laughs> uncle. I get it. Oh. Oh, it's definitely um, an uncle. It's definitely an uncle. Uncle <laughs> TOS. <laughs> TOS. TOS. <laughs> guys. Guys. What? Uh, so the headmaster says, like, uh, he used to, he used to be on your course like you. He wasn't able to succeed, but he was able to still make a future in his life, and that's why I want to get across to all of you that. Even if you don't succeed in this current course, you still have opportunities still within life. Nah, I forget what you fucked, bro. Chauvet is like <laughs> visibly shrinking slightly down in the seat. Uh, so have other opportunities. The like the uh, <laughs> ordinary per the NPC. <laughs> to anyone to anyone who isn't Chauvet, um, you see this very tall, commanding character scan across the room. Almost locking eyes in a certain section. Chauvet is within your section. Oh, I thought it might have been. <laughs> Before turning and addressing the uh, rest of the assembly. I want to see good, clean matches to show off your <laughs> ability. I love the voice you've just given him. You will be addressing Even for the this school. <laughs> You will be amidst great heroes in your future if you are able to succeed and have still good lives, even if not. Okay, no, so, a bit like I Park. hope you can all impress me as he stares down in the one section <laughs> to his right. Oh, Chauvet's daddy issues are definitely going to be coming out full yeah. force today. <laughs> Shower already doesn't like this guy. <laughs> oh, Chauvet and Shah are going to get along fantastically. As Wait, the, do we uh, all clock that it's like a relationship? too much Chauvet. power. Um, the last name was said, so if you guys like Chauvet enough to learn his last name, <laughs> then yes. Uh, no, I don't ask. know his last name. <laughs> I mean, Shah is that, is that more, more, more like perception? Um... I don't know who Inside. knows Chauvet's last History. name. History. History will probably work. I think we all said it on the first episode. General fucking the first, awareness. Well, the first oh, my uh, series just you... went as well then. <laughs> yeah, mine <laughs> went. I, I will say, 
I will say this will be a character. This will be a player choice if you guys would like to remember his last name or not. But if you generally have a sense of your character would know the last name of your team member you've known for like about a month now, okay, fair. then yeah, you've recognised him. Probably not. Him. Oh, okay, so I didn't <laughs> like him as soon as he introduced his last name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let alone when he just started staring people down in the. No, he's only. What is... You only get a sense that he's only stared in the general direction of Chauvier. Yeah, but it didn't necessarily mean staring at Chauvier. I'd say it was. I'd be staring at Preston. the same line of sight. The same line of sight. Yeah, but can we yeah. put like one and one together and see that it's, <laughs> it's really this bad. guy with Chauvier's last name looking in the general direction of Chauvier? <laughs> yeah. You'd know. have to be a fucking so, moron yeah. to not put that together. <laughs> Chauvier's no, last he's... name. No, no, no. That's he's st he's staring down this random person here. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Just, no, I mean, it's, it's just it's a Chauvier staring at him. Yeah, I, I think Preston probably actually thinks he's being looked at. <laughs> Chauvier's got a secret brother sitting right behind him. <laughs> Don't you pull out the secret sibling bullshit on me, Chris. I will kill you. <laughs> oh, it's bullshit now. This because time. I specifically wrote in my backstory that he was an only child, and I told Chris he's to be an only child. Unlucky. He's got a heart attack to you. And he sat right next to you. <laughs> okay, we only know he's the is, 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 Anyway, anyway. Right. the uh, assembly uh, sort of clears up, sort of trails on and then clears up as you are all uh, thrust into a general sort of break time. Hey, break time. Let's go. We were with each other. Is Zerido is still milling about? Um, he left the stage oh, about a fuck. few moments after his um, little speech and went backstage. You do not have a idea of where he is currently. Good. Let's keep it. So I'm going to find Shavir. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, likewise. Oh. So is he hey, we're all going yeah, to. No, I'm just kind of or... Was that guy related to you? Uh, you had that... the same last name, and he was looking. He was making eyes that in your direction. That Doesn't... was that was my father. <laughs> Ooh. Your father. Bad genes, bro. Unlucky. It's I'm okay, aware. <laughs> so like, who is he? he? Give us much as old as you. <laughs> so is him being the judge going to give us an advantage or disadvantage? Oh, think... almost definitely a disadvantage. He's a prick. Fuck. Fuck's sake, so Shovey. Like he had you. one job. I can't help it if he hurt himself and then <laughs> fucked his chances. Oh. Right. Oh. I see the family resemblance. <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake, man. And have you, have you spoke to him at all today? No. I you really planned to? No. <laughs> oh. Did you last see him? Chauvet has no idea. Uh, I will say, you did see him before you started this school, as you were still living with him, and now you've gone to this boarding school, so the last time you had an interaction with him was a few years ago. You haven't returned during the holidays. Why would I? Exactly. You stayed at the school during like the general holidays and that, because you didn't want to go back home. Show there, honey. You forgot your blanket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, show us to kill some bitches today. Are any of them gonna Good, be we need you to. <laughs> Did show me take a level in Sorry, barbarian? <laughs> now rage. So, um, from the assembly, um, this is the general rule set of the tournament. There are uh, four rounds for. You know, the advancement. There are 16 uh, participants in total. Um, you advance up. Um, it's quite a if you one. go. Uh, because he's an animal companion, he counts as part of flow. Oh, cool. uh, and you get the general sense Actually, that teammate. if Dawn was yeah. in the tournament, Val would count as Dawn. Um, I don't like that if. He's my beast. He's part of me, bro. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> if you didn't have Flo, you wouldn't have Clyde, just saying. So, if, uh, yeah, we would have Clyde. Yeah, if, if anyone questions it, just ride on top of Clyde and say, it's just part of me. Yeah. <laughs> it's um, just part of me. 
as well, uh, if you go down to zero HP, you are out of that round in combat. You don't go to death saving throws. You will be put out of the uh, game for that round. Let's this go, is so die. This is to protect the students from dying in harsher scenarios. James well, guys, to kill Olive. Him. Olive. Um, I just gotta remember my abilities. <laughs> yeah. Mine's just simply punch, punch, move, punch. Oh, I have this thing that lets me get out to one health instead of zero if I. So, fire it's, 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 when oh, first to zero. Uh, fight. Um, the I'm first fight step. is set in a couple days' time. Okay. Ah. We got prep time. So another session. <laughs> <laughs> so See, that's all for you. today. <laughs> There we go. Hold uh, on. Bye, COVID guys. has daddy issues. Okay. You will, you will have a long rest between each round, oh, so oh, you can on. expend. You can expend what you need. That's also for me, so I don't have to track how much the opposing teams have used over the time as well. Time to um, spend all my key. Yeah. Uh, so, you guys have a bit of free reign. You could, show me your true um, form. Talk amongst yourselves, get planned strategies out. You can maybe find info on some other students, know who's competing within the tournament, um, that sort of stuff. Um, I like the background ambience. Really adds to the. <laughs> it really adds to the sense of urgency. Sorry, what were you saying, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> the dogs are more important, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's what you're talking about. <laughs> <Right. laughs> okay. oh, yeah. Sorry, I have, it only took a minute for me to realise there are dogs barking because I've got the music in my ears. I've got you guys. <laughs> I've, got some, I've got someone in the background and yet somehow Chris has got the most background noise. It's great. <laughs> okay, who has what abilities? I can punch uh, things. Man. Great um, talk, guys. How much? Uh, how tanky are you two, Mr. Preston and uh, Shovey? I am extremely tanky. I can turn into multiple bears, which have a lot of health. But can you turn into a tank? My help. Right. Effectively. <laughs> and Shovey? 48 HP, 17 AC. Okay. Just say uh, I uh, picked up a new skill since our last encounter with the Planterius Queen, and it's a uh, very big area of effect. I just make sure I don't want to hit you guys, and if I do, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it'll be for the good of the people, okay? It's for the greater good, uh, I understand. I'm just letting you know <laughs> now, you might be taking 8d6 eight, eight damage, Ooh, but don't worry. <laughs> okay? <laughs> To let you know, for that particular skill, they won't be using their AC. They'll be. I using know. Their deck. Be yeah, using Chris, their I'm deck aware. Dex saving throw. Class <laughs> seven. Let's go. Oh, Dex is yeah, dead. Yeah, sixteen. Oh, Dex. Yeah. Mine's plus six on my Dex save, so I'm good. <laughs> Can you say that? We shall see. Yeah. But yeah. I, I could fail it easily. Sure, he's gonna turn to us the group and go. So where do we find out who we're facing? We can presume that Dawn is definitely going to be uh, on the on one of the teams. If you'll make it I mean, to it's our, the people our in our class, so... Chauvin now looks visibly angry at the mention Dawn. I don't know, Dawn seems like a formidable, formidable opponent. Did you see how, how she was in the other last week? Groups in our class, Chris. Um, your class, uh, apart from the team that died, the general groups in there, the other three that are left, um, of... Generally speaking, um, they're pretty good. They have they they're mostly a lot of like mages and stuff like that. They sort of got the raw end of having a very um, weak, like low AC groups and that. Aside from the cyborg, Dawn. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, Dawn's not in your class. Um, Is not? Oh uh, yeah. No. Um, 
Um, they're not exactly the most powerful. They're, those are the groups that you hear rumors about going around. Um, you guys have a bit more of a rapport around the school due to killing the uh, Plantivorous Queen last week. Oh, uh, so it's getting uh, even more popular. Everyone knows who we are. Fucking go. Yeah. Uh, you guys are slowly ranking in one of the more popular to win groups. Uh, What's our seeding for the tournament? <laughs> <laughs> we first seed, or we second nah, seed? Towards group, probably. <laughs> uh, you you haven't been told the seeding. Uh, you don't know who the other groups are. You just know your group has been entered within. There's a reason why Chauvet did just ask, shall we go find out who we're up against? They, they don't do seeds. Everyone's got a PTSD of plants now. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. They call it something else. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> First opportunity I get, Shar is dead. Alright, if you guys are looking, <laughs> I need uh, one of you to roll me a investigation check. Who's got the best investigation? I only have plus one. Plus one. Uh, plus two. Uh, plus two. Fiona? It's muted. Well, it's more so who within the group would... I uh, say, yeah. Would... <laughs> I mean, at this point, I would be the one who's instantly just going to get it all, because he's the sporty one, so he's going to know about tournaments and shit. Okay! Well, you know fuck all. <laughs> What's the tournament? <laughs> uh, you uh, spend a bit like asking around, but you just go to random students that aren't even within your school year of what's happening. And Let's it, go. Um, Can I see if anyone from my club knows anything? Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, roll me investigation, please. Uh, That's when you come on. Right open already. Um, so you go to your club and you get the give you the general sense of um, they don't really know what the scene is. Uh, anyone who is in the tournament, there's uh, one person within there, though they're not there currently. Um, they've tried to go to the. Um, the teacher's lounge or the student council office or something like that to get information from the source rather than talking to other students. Hmm. Okay. So what if I disguised myself as a teacher and went to the teacher's lounge? <laughs> <laughs> if you use disguise <laughs> self, this will be phenomenal. <laughs> Oh. I have a I have a hat that disguises me. <laughs> I would fully respect that. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know if a charm would I, actually I do not, that. Can I not trust a charm teacher to tell me the answer? <laughs> you charm person. They would know yeah. you charm them though. Yeah, that would become a, that would become yeah, a they, problem. They're not exactly going to change the tournament just because someone asked them. Um, what are the school rules against charming teachers? Oh, they might put it. They might put some disadvantages on us in order to, <laughs> if I do. Have you done that? Oh, then, uh, oh, Shark, can you rate me your general intelligence check, please? Uh, okay, but why? Just, just do it. roll and see what happens. Yeah. What do you okay. want? Ooh, good brain. You get the sense that they're not going to hide the information for those who ask. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ask then. And then if it doesn't work, I'll turn around and I'll disappear for a minute, but I'll become another teacher. <laughs> so I'm going to go actually. try and find a teacher. Uh, did, they, mm. did my band group generally have an idea of what kind of, which teachers would know? Um, any teacher that sort of teaches that year would know. Alright, so I'm going to go ask a teacher of that year. <laughs> well, yeah, of your year, so. Yeah, that year. That year. Our year. A year. Years. Hmm. On years. <laughs> <laughs> I might be a little bit hyper. <laughs> yeah. I had some Coca Cola. Wait, some yeah. what earlier? Coca Cola. Okay, I thought you said. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's right for the stream. Oh, yeah, Pepsi man. 100% <laughs> Pepsi, nothing in it. 
Uh, so, uh, Shaw's going to walk up to the teacher and ask, uh, what, what, a, what am I asking? Actually, that's a good question. Shaw's going to walk up to the teacher and be like, what am I asking? <laughs> what was I going to ask? Uh, you, uh, you're relevant. What, were, what information were we looking for, guys? <laughs> we need to Before know... Before Chris rolls something that might screw us over. <laughs> we need to know the seeding for the tournament and who All else right. is there. Uh, so, I can talk to the teacher and ask, uh, do you know what the seeding is for the tournament that's going up? Teacher turns uh, to be like, so... fuck you, I hate seeds. You walk, up a to, uh, <laughs> you walk up to two teachers who are in the corridor currently. Um, it is actually oh, Mr. Quartz me. with another tall, sort of more buffer gentleman. Oh shit, oh shit, it's his dad, what? It is oh, not the guy who was in the assembly. Oh, thank oh, okay. God. Excuse me, Mr. Quartz, uh, what are the seedings for the tournament? Uh, is that available information? Ah, oh, I spent the book. Uh, yeah, no, it's uh, knowledge to all those who are currently participating. I'll uh, see if I can get a write-up for you uh, in a moment. Um, okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah, as you sort of like, sort of nods to the other teacher and sort of arms you into like the uh, teacher room to, you know, sit down as he gets the paperwork ready. Is like, that right? Right. So there are currently. Uh, 15 other groups other than yours. I, uh, yeah. Let's see. So, your first fight will be against the Rouge Riot group. Rouge Riot. I'm like an absolute hoop. Yeah. I mean, this isn't what we're asking, but okay. What? Uh, I think I asked about seating, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. No, well, that's part of your first seed. You are in the first seed with Rouge Riot. Um, the uh, other groups... What? Chris knows what seeding that's is. That's not what seeding is. Seeding is, oh, like, right. where we're ranked in the tournament. So, like, yeah. first seed is the best oh. going down. Who people, oh. who, who people think are going to win, essentially. Because from, oh, the, right. from the seeding, you can work out the tournament, because first will be pitted yeah. against 16th and so, so anyway, on. What's that, Rouge what, Riot? <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that would be your first group. Um, generally speaking, from what I've heard, the uh, I've heard that uh, Bullet Revolution, that team has seemed to be one of the more higher ranking ones among the student populace, as well as uh, the disciplinary uh, council. I can never say that word. Yeah, I'm really bad at saying word. Disciplinary. disciplinary, yeah. Um, it was bullet what? Bullet revolution. revolution. Oh, that's Yeah. Right. Preston would know. That was the next one. <laughs> um, and I ice think... knife. Uh, ice knife. Ice knife. Uh, <laughs> I've heard a lot of chatter among your group with what happened last week. Well. But where Is are we ranked? Quite high. Uh, are you in the Are you in the class with? Um, we all with got, Char? I imagine we've all gone together. Yeah. All right. Okay. I don't know. Shara uh, has a tendency apparently to walk off on her own. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know Chauvet would have at least followed because he's wanting all right, information. Okay. So all of you guys are there as well. I was like, yeah. Well, uh, who's you to say where you them. rank? You know, an ego is best not inflated. If you know what I mean. Uh, that's a bit late. That's a bit late for show there. Actually, speaking of egos, uh, I couldn't help but notice the person on stage oh! uh, had the same last name as Shavir. Would that affect what's going to happen in the tournament at all? Uh, don't worry. I personally had a conversation with him to make sure that Shavir is marked. Uh, for his academic approach rather than a personal approach. So he's not gonna try and screw us over because he wants to see if Shavir can do handle stronger things than necessary. 
I've had the conversation with him whether he, he heeds my warning or not. Here's another thing entirely. Ah, I see. <laughs> Got it. I haven't I haven't had much contact with him personally outside of the general discussions on the board I've had. Okay. Thank you, sir. I think that's a question best left to Shovir. Look to Shavir. Shavir is staying quiet. Do you think he'll do something? Shavir? Hopefully not. I just haven't spoken to the man in years. Alright, uh, if that's all, family. I'll give you a uh, written set for... Uh, the uh, tournament and all the people involved. As he uh, brings out a uh, bit of paper to say what the general groupings are, uh, do and I'm going to DM, DM that in our chat. Patrick, I just told of two. This was a. Did you say this was a public event? Yes. Buff boys. <laughs> Mage, <laughs> mag <laughs> Mage Magical Girls! <laughs> Freedom Lord. Absolute. The Virgin Mages! The Fireball! The, the, fireball. Fireball. the Virgin oh, Mages! No, no, no. Please put us against the Virgin no Mages! Yeah. The student Inquisition. Oh, I'm typing. <laughs> Freedom Lords! They must die. Okay, so I'm assuming because it's a public event, it, our families would probably be in the stands somewhere. Oh, shit. Aside from Chauvet's huge family. I mean, Chauvet's might. Chauvet's Chauvet's mother might be in the stands. Due to my crowd. Uh, guys. Well, not Clyde's parents. Bro. Calm down, guys. Calm down. <laughs> uh, due to the recent attacks on school, uh, families will not be joining this event. It's going to be a mostly school event. Oh. For all the other students within the uh, school, as a more of a morale booster for the students. My Not the one morale thing booster to have our families around for some of us. <laughs> okay. Well, many. Shall uh, we advance today? Sorry, what was That's that? Right. Shall we advance today? Oh, you're <laughs> advancing today, did you say? Might as well, if we're f like three days out from the tournament. Yeah, go on then. Alright. Doesn't uh, want to do. Chauvet does, but he'll do it the ne like the following day. Alright, so you guys are moving on to the next day now, uh, after you guys have investigated yeah. all the other, what the names of the other groups are, generally how the tournament is laid out, who's going to be there and that. Yeah. You know what, during yes. the night time, I'm going to say that Shar actually wrote a letter to Alright, okay. Uh, so, on this new day, day, is there a place for people to train for, before the tournament? Um, there is general places to train in the school in general. There are gyms set up, there are firing ranges set up for either um, weaponry or spells. It is a training school, so there are lots of places. Even um, Do they have to be booked? You should have asked that before you passed the previous day. <laughs> no, 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 I'm asking today, I'm asking today. There are <laughs> private areas you can book. There are public areas as well that you can okay. just turn up to. I'd like to search them for any of the Red Rouges, the Rouge Riot, sorry. If any of I'm them gonna go with any of them. So I can so watch going their with, but he has a different, he has a different motive. Yeah, who else is coming? Is anyone else coming? Yeah, I'm coming, Flay's coming. Okay, we're all going. <laughs> it's Shah coming along. Um, Actually, Shah's not going to join you at first. She's going to go to deliver a message. Well, get a message delivered. Uh, and then okay. she'll join the group. Whilst okay, on the way what? there, Chauvet wants to look around to see if there's anywhere that he can buy stuff, i.e. <clears throat> potions. Uh, there yeah. is the general shop. Uh, by the way, uh, for your current gold, set it to, uh, let's say... It should be a hundred if it's been fifty nine currently. Set it set it to two hundred minus anything you bought while on your beach at the Two hundred What is two hundred? What the fuck? Let's go, two hundred gold. Well, yeah, as you rank up, 
the more the money you get for the tougher challenges is going to go up. It's not going to go up at an equal amount. Chris, do you remember how yeah. much I spent my big sandcastle bucket? I it was one, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it was we had one. sixty. You had fifty-nine, right? Okay, fifty-nine yeah, currently. Yes, yeah, so I spent one on it. Maybe one. Yeah. Go two hundred. <laughs> yeah. Um, eventually, gold is going to play a part in it. So I'm sorry I haven't properly tracked it for you guys. Dickhead. Um, but yeah. So essentially, you guys are at two hundred minus anything you may have bought. Uh, we'll go to you, Shover, in a moment. We'll yeah, uh, fine. Start with. Uh, Shar and whoever's joining Shar on um, that one. So message to Actually, can what? I just say that like Shova, just like, oh, do you want to go to the shop? I'll come with. All right, so you're going. Then we can go off together. Shova's going to nod right. and go. Oh, we'll all head to the shop. Shova and Tom bonding time. No, I'm going shop. That's what I want. Arrows, bro. Oh, fuck off, bro. This is our bro, bro mad moment. strip. <laughs> I'll go by myself. <laughs> all right. Do you want to go with Shar? Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, oh right. that was just so instant. No. So to get, sorry, is it Shah and Preston who's going to the gym section? No, oh, Shah's going to send their letter. Shah's going. Letter. Oh no, Shah. We're everywhere. Okay. Yeah. No, no. The other day, the oh, no. night time, she wrote the letter. Today okay. she's hey, sending it this morning. Right. Okay. Um, can I quickly have like two minutes to go to them quickly? <laughs> I need a drink. So. Okay, while you're doing that, I'm gonna grab a drink. Mini drink, yeah. mini break. So, fellas. So Chris said he was gonna make like some custom arrows that I could use, but I don't know if he sent them for this session. Well, I mean, I do have flame arrows for you still. Oh, true. I need to boot up Streamlabs because I got a. F I have just got a follow, but well, I had one, but I don't know if you know who it's from. I thanked them, but I can't remember. Well, I mean, you did it in the Yeah, Flawney. Let's go. Okay, time to start accumulating ingredients for a fifth level spell. Mm. Time to just buy potions so I can go into the middle of fights and not die. Hey, you're supposed to die. <laughs> the whole point! I mean, I do have hit I'm supposed to have Healing Spirit, but it doesn't show up in D&D Beyond, but it's part of Zamfars, so it should be available. So I need to ask Chris. I've got one Healer's kit. It? Uh, no. But yeah, I think I you need to buy it on D&D Beyond. I think Chris has it. You'll need to ask him to put it in for you. Well, I can just ultimately... Uh, I have the card, at least. Yeah. If I bought bombs... <laughs> oh, no. I just noticed I could probably set up a little trap. I've got Bradbury, you're gonna know where this is from. Hemp and rope and a tinder box. I could probably somehow set up some small trap where I could have the as they trip over the rope. It I will sparks say, the tinder you do box realize that there is a fine trap. <laughs> uh, so the question with Xanathar's I haven't bought Xanathar's or Tasha's oh. spells yet because I don't own the physical book, so that would need me buying them both basically both books twice. As I have the card, can I use the spell? Yes, as you have access to a uh, source, I'll, I'll allow you to use it. Just make sure to look it up and post it in chat. Sure, I'm not sure how best to post it in chat. <laughs> I'll figure uh, it out. Look, look it up on D&D Beyond and you should be able to then put it straight into the chat from there. From the extension. You know how you do the uh, the animal forms? Mm. I don't know, but I think, I think like that. that's locked behind, though. What's this? Um... I think that is locked behind. The spell shouldn't be, because I generally look up the Xanathar stuff myself. Um, occasionally. Okay, maybe this will have it. If not, DM it to me when the time comes. It's probably best to check that right now that that works before we get and do it, do it in the fight. Um, but, yes, so... Best to say we're going to the shop first while Shah delivers the letter then. Okay. Okay. So who's going to the shop? Final count. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Yeah. Okay, it's three. Three of you uh, head to the uh, shop. There's an uh, older. Um, orc woman. Uh, 
I wonder what he just rolled for. <laughs> Mom? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not there. <laughs> it might be. Um, sort of long white hair that's braided down. Um, as she sort of is tending the shop, there's a lot of like different weaponry, magical items, stuff like that. And she uh, looks over you, window shopping essentially. You gonna buy anything? So this is gonna look and just go. How many potions of healing have you got? Yes, please. She uh, looks through a drawer and opens it. I got a few. How many? How much you got? Enough. I asked first. Mm. One egg. That's a deal. <laughs> We sure. have an infant supply. How much money you got? Chauvet. <laughs> Chauvet <laughs> wants to know how many potions of healing they've got because he has a plan. It might not happen. Regular, regular potions are 50 gold. Oh, fuck me. That's plan's not going to work. She, she looks down at you. Right. She looks down at your doubt and just sort of smiles. No, no. Chauvet's Chauvet not showing any <laughs> fucking doubt. Roll me a deception roll quickly. That's on. <laughs> oh. oh shit. Yeah, you're, you're, doubt you're doubtful. She looks over. She, looks she smiles a half cocked grin. Just be like, what to sell? And, I'll take one. and potions of greater healing. Potions of greater healing. Uh, give me a moment. I need to find my uh, magical prices. Uh, Why don't we just get this from the equipment store? Or am I being dumb? I think you're being dumb. Two hundred. Not this many, I think. Pieces. I think the equipment. I... Could you not go stuff. lower for the greater healing? It seems a bit expensive. These Especially are the regular shoes. prices you'll find out in the real world, kiddo. Damn, a lot like... of effort goes into these potions you kids waste. I was hoping I could get a chance to do persuasion. Wow. Okay. She doesn't like you, Shavir. So most orcs don't like you, apparently. <laughs> Chauvet's just going to put 150 gold down on the table. Wise choice. She pops down three bottles. And scoops up the gold. Okay, miss, do you happen to have any arrows of any exciting assortment? Exciting. I can get you a vial of poison you can dip your arrows into. How much would that be? That will be about 30 gold. Each uh, vial will be able to convert about three arrows and they last about an hour. Three. Okay. Ten golden arrow. Sorry. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, can I take two vials, please? Alright. Um. I don't know if this is on uh, D and D Beyond because I've been uh, I haven't been able to find much on arrows, so this is probably the best thing I've been able to find to give yeah. you arrows. So, mark down uh mark down somewhere that you have uh, two vials of poison. So each one you okay. can dip into it to convert three arrows into arrows of poison. Um, when you shoot a creature and it hits, the creature must make a DC save of uh, 14. Otherwise, it is poisoned, and you roll a 1d6 uh, a 1d6 uh, poison. Um, that and if I your your shots can get so messy. You're going to have to shoot the hit, the actual damage. Hunter's Mark, poison. <laughs> I lost the Slayer. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then my second shot. And then Flame <laughs> Arrows. And while they are poisoned, they don't take damage over time. What poison does is um, they have disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. Oh. Until okay. they uh, shrug the poison off at the um, end of their turns. Mm -hmm. Which they can. So at the end of their turns, they can reattempt the save. Um, so 
write down the damage dice and the DC for me, so you can refer it back to me when I get the chance, yep. when I need to ask. Um, is it gonna take, like, an action or something to dip the arrows in? Or is that uh, prepared? You can do that before combat, I think. You can do that before, but during combat, you can spend an action to dip uh, three arrows into it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And they last one hour from being yeah. poisoned. Perfect. Yeah, otherwise the poison starts to, like, dry off and, you know, yeah. basically just sort of, it, it sort of, like, um, evaporates in the air, you know. <laughs> I walk and go, hello, how are you? Hello? What do you want? I'm looking for potions. Do you have any left? Got many. I'm looking for about three just regular potions. How how expensive would that be? 150 gold. Do I not get a bit of discount for bulk buy? No Costco style? What? Ignore that. Sorry, I'm just adding a macro. Which isn't working. Uh, exactly. What a great matter. <laughs> I've been told not to give discounts. But are you sure? You know, that's three. That's a lot of gold, you know. I feel because I'm buying so, like, a few more than probably most people would. You know, maybe a little deal. I've seen groups buy and buy the dozen. That, uh, well, just rude. That's that's a lot of money. Like they're just flexing their wealth at that point. <laughs> like how would you expect students to buy twelve potions? That's that's ridiculous. Rich kids are all alike, aren't they? Yeah. Stupid. Yeah, sure can I have three <laughs> potions then? Shut the fuck up. Hundred and fifty. <laughs> I put it on the table. Yep, she brings out uh you notice that the general clatter when she handed them to Shofi is lessened for you as she sort of puts him down a little less harshly for you. Bitch. Thank you, you so much. Funny? I bet if Shah was there, she probably would have done the discount. <laughs> bro, I was trying to get that persuasion <laughs> check, bro. <laughs> I'm looking at my plus eight and I was like, come on, come on, come okay, on. Okay, I will. <laughs> um, so the thing, with, the thing in D&D &D is... Um, you can attempt stuff like persuasion, stuff okay. like that, but it isn't oh, a guarantee. It's not like yeah, a yeah, mind control thing. Yeah. Many NPCs already have a set thing in I their mind. I could have charmed person. Help. Oh no! Be too high for you to even bother rolling. Oh, yeah, 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 imagine yeah, how yeah. mad she'll be once yeah. she realizes she was charmed. I would have fucking dipped at that point. <laughs> we would have just noticed she's charmed uh, and just gone fuck, run. No security and whatnot. They just yeah. go to your room. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, like um, a general yeah. sort of more so uh, town uh, shop might offer maybe like a 10% discount if persuaded right enough. Yeah. But a shopkeeper for this, you know, who has had to deal with so many other students in the past attempting it, has become hardened enough to be like, I ain't taking any of your shit. You I know? presume so, but I was like, I was just hopeful. <laughs> She's seen all the kids through the ages and said like every trick in the book, if you get that sense. Yeah, yeah. What about tricks that aren't in the book? <laughs> Those two. <laughs> Ice knife, go! <laughs> Kill her. Kill her now. <laughs> okay, so I presume we're done with the shop then. <laughs> uh, you guys are done with the shop. You meet back up with um, Shah, who was able to deliver the letter needed. And uh, I guess Preston, are you there with them still? I mean, I already went off to look for people, look for the uh, people training. And he's the, oh, he's okay, the rain, yeah. you've gone, you've gone there first. Okay. Um, what sort of gym area are you going to? You go into more of the uh, bodybuilding section. You go into the. Like, Do I know the, the type of people, the people on in that group? Um. Roll me a history check, please. Okay. F. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, 
I think being a druid, I'm going to want to look for people who I'm most likely to be effective against. Um, so I don't think I'm necessarily going to go, hmm, what are the areas again? Bodybuilding, you said, and what else? Uh, the general sort of stuff like bodybuilding, there's like a archery range, there's like a spell casting range, there's um, more of like a training ground for like combat, like martial arts stuff. Um, mostly like an area needed for each type of... I think I'm going to go look in the spell casting area. Alright, you go to the spell casting area. Roll me an investigation check, please. Okay. Hey. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Um, oh. No, none were found. <laughs> in uh, in the uh, corner, sort of like almost prepping themselves up, is uh, two um, two people, a uh, female uh, tiefling in uh, sort of a green tiefling, and a earth genasi, um, as they are sort of preparing up they've got sort of um red badges on their uniforms and that um you sort of have a feeling that they might be the ones that you're looking for are they just mine and flow's alter ego these are the droids you're looking for <laughs> <laughs> i didn't even realize that it's like those two <laughs> have uh sacred blue honestly i just sort of randomized it <laughs> Okay, what do I see them doing? Um, they're more so getting their uh, spell casting focuses ready as they sort of... Um, you can't really tell what they're talking about, but you see mm. them sort of... Sort of like going back and forth on the conversation. Uh, okay, is there any uh, small creatures around? Like a rat or anything, or a bird? This is... Uh, more of an indoor area you sort of see the walls look heavily reinforced to take lots of blast damage and stuff like that um, okay give me two sec uh, you've basically gone quite like down this is sort of like a basement area okay can i quite... summon a rat um yeah what is it fine familiar Actually, no, wait, sorry, that's not what I want to do. Uh, I want to do... Da, 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 long list. Yeah. We'll be out of your prepared spells rather than your... Uh... Yeah, yeah, but basically, uh, I mean, my current list of prepared spells is my combat ones. It's because I couldn't be able to change it to my roleplay ones, but I have a separate list that is my roleplay one. Right, okay, so currently during this day you're in your roleplay ones, guys. Yeah, yeah. Just trying to find a spell now. Should have been more prepared for this. <laughs> <laughs> well, they are prepared spells for a reason. That is true. <laughs> uh, I want to locate a small animal. <laughs> locate animals or plants. Okay, can you put that in chat for me, please? Sure, sure. Uh, and then display is. That, I think. There you go. Right, so can I go some... right, what animal were you picking? Uh, hmm. Just a bird, I think. <laughs> I think that would be quite a Bless small you. bird. <laughs> Bless you. Thanks. Or actually, maybe a rat, because I think that's actually more uh, subtle in a fucking middle of a school building. Alright, so you go. Or smaller, and... if possible. You go sort of looking for uh, rats. Um, you sort of have a general sense, and um, you think so. there's none in this room, but there are some within the castle walls um, scuttling mm. around. There are bunches of them in certain sections, and that none within your immediate vicinity. Okay, I go to the nearest one I can find. Um, that is actually a bit away. Uh, I've got time. And you, uh, how long does it last for? 
when actually locate when animals. Uh, Duration uh, instantaneous. Okay, mm. um, so you get the immediate sense of it, and uh, then the feeling dissipates again. And yeah. you're, sort of, you're left with a general direction that you can remember it, but uh, can it's I? not like. Uh, you sort of have a feeling of knowing where it is, and you sort of, sort of know the general, but you don't know. You don't really know the exact distance where they're at. You don't know. Um... I mean, I, it says I learned the, the direction and distance to the closest. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah you do. Um... But with a network of corridors that is a castle. You oh, don't yeah, yeah. know. You don't know the path of how to get there. Um, mm. You don't know whether or not if they're behind a wall in a sewer system or something like mm. that. Um, he basically just telling me I can't. It, it will be very much impossible. You can roll. You can do. You can try. You can try, but I will say it'll be practically impossible. So I have to roll in that twenty. Even then, I'm not sure. Oh. Like. <sighs> Chris, you've ruined my roleplay. No. I believe. <laughs> I believe. Roll, yeah, me Chris. Um, roll me investigation. Stop ruining D&D, Chris. <laughs> I believe, and that's 20. All I want is a rat field school. Investigation. Yeah, that, that's not getting anywhere near it. Uh, you had no chance with a modifier of plus one. I know, I know. <laughs> Maybe somebody with uh, with skill two, checks, with skill checks, uh, and that twenty isn't a guarantee, like we said before, with persuasion yes. and that. Um, a DC setting can go from very easy, which is five, to nearly impossible, which is thirty. Mm. Uh, well, and even then, I would even put an impossible rating in of just like you know a hundred. No. Uh, Yeah, um, I'm trying to think by this point if the rest of the group be following in by now or not. Uh, as you know, they have to make their own investigation check to even know if you're here or not. Uh, oh. Because you never told them where you were going, so. Uh, that is true. Alright, are you going to walk up to them? Or you I'm going to walk up to them. Okay. Hello. It's Hello. Right. Uh, the uh, tiefling sort of looks around to you and like, Yes? Is there anything we can help you with? Uh, yeah, my name's John. I've, I've just been a big fan of uh, your guys' work in the training so far. And I was just wondering if you guys could give me some tips. I'm, I'm the year below. I'm uh, still working quite hard. But obviously, just the amount of uh, precision and skill... I've seen you guys display. I just want to learn more. So, are you able to help me? Roll me deception. Okay. Good. <laughs> John, was it? Yeah. <laughs> How badly did they roll? <laughs> How badly did they roll? <laughs> or he rolled really high and he's just being yeah, like, they're playing along. John, oh. is it? Like, fuck you. What you do is you don't train, you sit on your ass and you hide in a hole for you. <laughs> Fucking druid. <laughs> Forget all your spells. It's like, uh, oh god, I forgot to say that. Um, it's like, uh, so what is it exactly that you want to uh, learn from us? Well, I just want to know your uh, general approach in a fight. Obviously, uh, I know there's some big scary guys that you're going up against, isn't there? Uh, like there's that weird orc and that, uh, you know, that person that just always looks like they've just stepped out of a shower, you know? It's so bizarre. Um, but ultimately, I just, I just, I, there's, so, there's so much I have yet to learn, honestly. I'm a bit of a klutz on the battlefield, as you, as, as you, I'm sure you're aware. Um, as, as I say this, I like fumble um, a small book. Uh, I was just wondering as well if I could just, uh, as I pick it up, uh, just just get some tips, you know, to just help me. Hmm. Alright. Uh... 
and then they punch you. Dodge! <laughs> I would recommend not focusing on any one member and just trying to take them out all at the same time. I think that'd be a good strategy. Wear them down all equally, you know? Hmm, that's big. That's interesting. But what about <laughs> especially if uh, they're spread out? Surely that makes that quite difficult. Good area of effect spells, especially... Uh... If you have other members within there of your group uh, tracking down where they are exactly, you can get accurate information of knowing what error of effect spells to use. Damn, what kind of spells do you guys like? Press two stage. Uh, of course, a good, a good uh, fireball is always presentable oh. in a situation. And they, oh, and oh. Is fireballs even... are scary. Especially in close range, they could be quite spicy in the battle, you know? Oh, that's never good. I, I thought I thought, I thought, thought we're not supposed to be trying to kill them. <laughs> kill them. Kill them now. Well, well, well lose points as, long as, them, on, as long as they're on just the verge, as long as you don't actually kill them. Ah, oh, okay. That's fair enough. Well, thank you for your time. Them, it's, okay. uh, it, it's been you a pleasure. Could, could, I, could, I get a, could I get an autograph as well while I'm here? Sure. As they uh, just say, do a little scribble within your notebook. They, uh, oh, thank both you. of them, both of them, when you look at them, don't really look like lettering. They look like uh, scribbles, but you just assume that that is just how they do their signature, you know? That is just how they do their signature. Okay. Well, I uh, bid you adieu. Good luck. I'll be rooting for you guys. Yes. Thank you. Uh, I leave the room. Yeah. Real question is, does he realise? <laughs> <laughs> Do I realise or did they realise? That's the real question. Both. Actually, both is what I want to know. Yeah, do, you, do, you want to, do you want to roll for it? I think I do. Roll me a perception, then. Fucking finally. I have a plus seven on perception. <laughs> hey! He knows that he can uh, see. <laughs> he isn't blind. I have Am a I? feeling they were mocking about and have a feeling you know that they, they know. know who you are. Okay. You know that they know Basically, that you know. Basically, they've been feeding you lies. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys. I, I see the group catching up, do I? Uh, are you leaving to go to like the main entrance to yeah, the training yeah. area then? Um, yeah, right <laughs> yeah. You, you guys uh, make your way, and uh, you see the rest of the group uh, approaching. Hey guys, well, I found some of our Yo. competitors. Um, they cottoned on to my rouge, um, rouge. and <laughs> I've learned that they're either going to be using a lot of fireballs, or they're going to be using Where? no fireballs. <laughs> Th thanks for that right. Right. very <laughs> helpful they didn't say well, anything else no they, they 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 said they like to do big Arab effect spells they like to uh, focus on take down everyone equally rather than individually um, uh, but they knew I, I was on the other team what was that then? surely we want to take down one at a time like yeah. we need to target the strongest opponent reduce the general damage that they output so that we don't go down quicker than I think them. it depends it, it's it's going to be interesting. I mean, Less we do, on the field is better. We do have some error of effect spells, so I think we can potentially use that tactic to our advantage a bit. However, course, it is going to be, be if they're we grouped up, then sure it makes sense. Target like we should focus on the strongest opponent. No, let's put it us. this way: if uh, I was on the on enemy the healer, team, I'd say. <laughs> if I was on the enemy team, we'd take me out first because we know how powerful I am, right? Yeah. Oh, Chris, Chris, oh, see what, what uh, did I see? What armor they're wearing? Damages. Uh, they look like they were just in their uniforms, and okay. you couldn't really get a sense of their art. Um, hmm. Remember, Preston is quite wise. Oh, fuck's sake, why an, invest why an intelligence check? You gotta know what armor it is. Surely insight. That is um, the... The... Ganassi's um, locker was open, and 
mm. when you sort of ha you sort of remember looking inside and you didn't really see any armor in there. It was more a lot, a lot like cloak based stuff. Oh um, no. Yeah, I also I just they went in their armor, but I just noticed in uh, the Ganassi's uh, locker there was a mysterious cloak. Do I know what cloak it is? What I was there? What does it look like? Uh, you couldn't really get a sense. You just know it was a cloak. Fair. Uh, no idea. It, it was uh, brown or blue or green or right. It was just a cloak. You know, just a, a standard cloak, foreshadowing what. Hmm. hmm. Interesting. Tom, don't you have one of them? I did get a new cloak recently. What does it do? Minecon, well, it, right? It, it, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's actually the Minecon 2013 cape. <laughs> Let's go. It just helps me hide. So, I guess okay. we might want to be extra keen if we see her on the mm. field. The Earth Genasi was that. Yes. Did someone say Moonbeam? <laughs> Moonbeam? The Moonbeam longest stuff. spell ever written. <laughs> no, that's fair. Uh, so we so there the two there's there's two spellcasters. We know that much. That you uh, know of. That we know of. Um, okay. Should we try and find out if any of them are archers? I mean, I feel like it'll be quite obvious if they rock up with a bow. Well, true, but I need to know the day before. Mm. Why it's that? So I can prepare my spells. It's fine. I can just attempt to catch anything they fire at us. <laughs> ah, okay. but I can protect us from anything they fire at us. Was that? Dodge. With wind wall. I can just put up a big wall of wind, and any projectiles have disadvantage. It also does like three D eight, which is fun. Though. It does also do three D eight. If they're in it, yeah. Actually, wait. Do we know where the um? The battles are taking place, Chris. Yes, uh, you know which arena is being is it... used. It's one of the more larger outdoor arenas. That's what I wanted to know. Oh, we're outdoor. I was going to say, because I know for a fact that Moonbeam you have to. It's 60 yeah. feet above Wait, so you. Wait, so, yeah, so you said this is indoors, this fight? It's outdoors. Outdoor, you said. Ah, okay, awesome. So we're good. Uh, so, how many days to the tournament? It's tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay, can we go there? I want to sense we're there, we're there. the weather. Um, oh, can we go check out the arena? Yeah. Yeah, right, I want to sure. go and check so out the arena. So you head up to the entrance to the arena, and you see a few, um, not exactly like guards, but like uh, people that have been set up outside. And as you approach, they um, they just say, like, there's no entrance allowed in here. We just get oh, a little tour. Okay, my bad. Sorry, no, this error is closed off until tomorrow. You sure? Are we still outside, or is <laughs> it enough. like an inside entrance? Um, no, this area is like its own building. It's essentially like an arena, um, and all of the entrances have people sort of around it and that. Um, you're currently at the um, sort of the entrance area that of uh, the, the audience would go into okay can we see how how big the arena is it's um quite big um sort of like uh a tennis court stadium almost mm. in feet uh I, i'm not good with measurements not the <laughs> How big's the arena? Just tell us the size of the arena, the map you made. Well, the uh, play area that you will have is about uh, 60 by 60, if I remember correctly. Uh, okay. uh, no, no, sorry, not 60. Not 60. Sorry. I swear it's 120. Uh, what? No, the map, were, the map itself is 30 by 30, <laughs> uh, but the actual area you'll be playing in is smaller than that. Um, no, but that's oh. 30 squares, not 30 feet, right? Oh, yes, okay. I, 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 think, I think it's 120 feet, I think. Well, that'd yeah. be 150 for that area, but for the map, but yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, Chris. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, I was saying, it's 30 feet across, oh, dude, it's actually combat. over. <laughs> 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 fucking over. Close combat. Oh, did yeah. I kill everyone? 
Yeah. So it's it looks like you will have a lot of like room to, you know, run about and that in there. Alright, uh, I'm gonna say that's sort of it for what you can do today. In other really? Words, I haven't ex- really done anything. In other words, please. You delivered a whole get... letter. Alright, please, I want to get <laughs> Oh, <Whoa>, boy, <laughs> God. Well, from, like, the general actions and things. Well, Bern, you were with them when they went to the arena, so. Right. Is the store closed? Did you still I want pre- to go to the store? Yeah, I've been wanting to for a little while. I just. All right, I get. Uh, let's do this sort of quickly then. Uh, what do you want from the store then? Uh, okay, so uh, do they have any pouches with a sort of ice symbol on them? Pouches. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get five of those, please. That will be about thirty. Ten gold. Ten gold. Okay. Yeah. And do, do they have anything that I could use to improve my spells in any way? Uh, nothing within your price range. Right. Uh, in that case, I will get a couple of potions. Yep, they're 50 gold each. How much did you say the uh, higher value of potion was? 200. Uh, okay, never mind on that one. Okay, so two normal potions and that. And the pouches, that's 110 off my money, yeah? Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else I can get. I don't think so. How much do the uh, resistance potions cost? Uh, potions of resistance. Um, let me just get a double check of that, because I don't know them off the top of my head. It's fine, I'm writing, I'm putting in the other potions. Not just standard potions. Come on. Uh, general potions of resistances are about 300 pounds. Okay, so never mind on that one. <laughs> no. Alright, I think that's it for me. Yeah. Oh wait, what about armor, actually? No, I just thought, I literally just thought about it. Could I get some better armor, or is that too, too expensive? Um, you could buy any of the regular armor, but you can't really get any magical armor. No, I'm looking for regular. Uh, I'm currently wearing leather. Could I uh, studded leather better? Uh, yeah, you can buy studded leather. How uh, much is that? Studded leather is forty-five gold. Okay, I'll buy that as well then. Yep. Uh, do they buy items from me, or do I just pull uh, out what I've already got? Well, no, the current armor you have is the more rental ones, but you can uh, buy better ones. So know? I just lose the rental one, because I, I might as well give it yeah. back to the rental shop. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to get the... Okay, so that should be it for me. Yep. So stay leather is 12 plus dex modifier to get your armor class. So it's actually pretty decent. Uh, yeah, it's a step up from what I previously had. Yeah. I think. Take off the lever, put on the studded lever. Mm-hmm. Wait, did that actually go up? Yes, it did. <laughs> okay. And I get rid of the old one, yeah? Yeah. Because I know as well. Alright, anyone else doing anything before the day turns? Uh, I wanted to say, so I cast Druidcraft when at the arena. Well, outside the arena. Okay. Uh, let me put it in chat. I was going to say <sighs> that, uh, that since the person was orcish, I spoke to them in orcish. It's not relevant, right. but... <laughs> yeah. It was still this same general conversation. Yeah. She's like, many people have come up and tried to speak orcish to her, to try and sweep I mean, her. no, it yeah. wasn't that. It's yeah. recognizing the same race sort of thing. Speaking yeah. native tongue. It's easier. Uh, the next right? Alright, uh, next 24 hours. Um, Why can I not find potions be... on this list? Why can I not find potion it healing? It seems to be going to be quite cloudy and overcast, but not... No chance of rain? Very, very low chance of rain. Okay. Would, that, would the cloud count as a storm cloud? No. Okay. 
and then the pouches. Well, guys, it's going to be cloudy tomorrow. Okay. Chance of rain. I'm going to hand a pouch to each person in the team, in our group, if I can. What's that? What is? Yeah, what is it? It's it's an ice knife pouch. <laughs> ice knife pouch. <laughs> it's a For storing ice knives. Group. I thought it'd be a good idea. How do we add this to our equipment? What is this? <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, uh, well, no, this is just a, like an item and that. It's that just a pouch just... item. I, yeah. It's just been customized to have a have an yeah. ice symbol on it. Yeah. It's symbolic of our group's name. Show this smiles a little bit of this. I like it. We're a proper he clearly team, appreciates though. the team aspect. Yeah. All right. Uh, so you guys move on to the next day. You're uh, up and early. The teachers sort of lecture into you, like you know the general rules and that, like don't actively try to kill each other you're trying to just down <laughs> each other you know so, sorry chris can i ask one question about one spell go on so fog cloud uh let me put the thing in the thing yep d d d sorry it takes a sec fog cloud fog cloud by the way you're all you're all on me 2.5 gold <laughs> nah, just kidding <laughs> <laughs> i think it says it's 1.5 gold <laughs> at least in a uh, thing <laughs> I gotta, put, gotta make my money back. There you go. Show so passes so three gold to shove. <laughs> right, Fog Cloud. Uh, 20 foot radius, a sphere. I have Fog Cloud. Burning. Uh, so no, so my question is it's a concentration spell, but it says it lasts for the duration or until a wind of wonder at a great speed disperses it. So does that mean that I have to hold. Con if I lose concentration, it automatically disperses or does it stick around? Uh, which case do I have it to hold concentration disperse. for it? It will disperse okay. when you lose concentration. Because what you're doing is you have fog, but mm. it's magical fog. Your concentration is what's keeping it there. Mm. Okay. Um, yeah. But then the moderate wind gets rid of it. Fair enough. Yeah. Right. Like not like a small it's gust. Anything that's like you know that's gonna ten push miles per hour or more. Yes. Yeah, anything that's gonna push sank over will do it. Yeah. Um, ten miles per hour shouldn't be pushing things over. I don't know miles per hour to win speed. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a news anchorman. I am. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Uh, so, you guys eventually, like, yeah, everything's cool. all sort of set up as uh, you guys enter the arena. Um, you go sort of through a tunnel. You go through sort of like a darker tunnel. As like the light at the end is gets quite bright and bright. Don't go into the, the light. The, the light at the end. So <laughs> let's go. Go walk towards as the light. As we're at the end of the tunnel, can I flip my hood up, please? <laughs> yep. You edgy motherfucker. Oh yeah. <laughs> show this says that, by the way. I'm just gonna glare at you and smile. <laughs> we just end, once we enter the arena, we just hear a bunch of people saying, "Ice knife suck, fuck you guys." So there's got the pouch that Shah gave, like on his belt, like very oh, visible, same, yeah. and the potions of healing are in the pouch. Uh, Easy access. I like I, the I, idea so I much. I'm copying. You know? <laughs> All right, you guys sort of enter this tournament. The, ch uh, the crowd is starting to like cheer and that as. Um, you enter this sort of very large, sort of sandy arena oh. as uh, five other students appear on the opposite side. Oh, they look so... Oh my goodness, I'm your biggest fan, guys. Oh, they look so individualized. I love all these <laughs> custom <laughs> opponents. All right. Oh, I see uh, dad. Two, I oh, spotted my dad. Any trouble telling them apart. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, to your left and right, you see sort of um, barriers and that. They have been set up and warded so that any like large spells or stuff like that or anything that goes out into the audience is automatically deflected away from them. Could uh, we use that as a be... play? Just bounce something off of the wall to try and... 
Uh, you don't know how they work yet, so... So you can always try. <laughs> so they might have to test this after the first round. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to start with a good sort. Next I'd say you look like trolls, but that's a good sort How do you collapse the players? <laughs> <laughs> well, that count as vicious mockery. Surprise round, let's go. Guy cast so, Fireball right guys, now. Guys, <laughs> guys, guys, guys. Uh, Josh is asking a question. What was it? I figured it out. Never mind. Okay. Right. Uh, so... The, there are boulders and stuff like that, or like um, set out. You can use these for like cover. You can like climb on them. These are like meant to give a bit more of a terrain experience, you know. Mm. Uh, think of how, how? What's the tallest? The tallest would be the uh... three-tiered one. Yeah, that'd be uh, <laughs> that one here. I think. How tall is it? Mount Everest, bro. It's about, it's about 12 or, 12 or so feet high. Okay, how tall would you have a rock? Oh, um, this one's about 5 feet high, and the rest of them are generally within the range of about 7 to 10. Okay. So they're all large enough to hide behind, is what we're hearing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or climb up. Well, well some we have to crouch, some we don't. At least I have. At least this means I can just I mean, hide behind sure. things. Get the high ground. <laughs> I'm five foot nine, so if I hide behind a five foot rock, there's still nine inches of me showing. And well, it's the and it's the it's correct amount exactly. of the crouch. that we want to be seeing. <laughs> yeah, the crouch. You're not that high. <laughs> so I guess without uh, further ado, <gasps> roll me initiative, please. Fuck! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic, James! <laughs> uh, I don't seem to see the initiative button you mentioned. Oh, do you oh, have no. a... It's added dex, right? Oh. As in, I can... This is a... <laughs> Top right. Oh, this is looking tragic. I can just roll it from D&D Beyond, but I thought there was did a specific you button your... you wanted me to use. Oh, I go before Clyde. Fuck Clyde. Oh wait, no, I'm in pan mode, that's why. So far I think I'm... Who would be first out of me or Flo? Okay, Sligum's first, never mind. Cock Clockers. Clock Cockless. Cockless is... Oh my god, how are they rolling so hard? Nah, Chris, they're just gonna be yeah, called Cockless. I'm just oh, what do you oh, mean?! Give me a reroll, what is this? Hey, about that insult. <laughs> <laughs> Chris! They, they were not happy. Oh my that. god, I've only just <laughs> seen my rolls. <laughs> Fudge your rolls! Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit, they're all first. Josh is plus nine as well. I'm plus nine and I rolled a fucking four! Don't worry, I Okay, never mind, Snizer. Oh, okay, Snizer. Look at that! <laughs> <laughs> wait, there's... wait, we're fucked, lad. One of them after us. I brace. There you go, then we go. There you go, then we go. Oh, oh, like, oh sorry, like sorry. sorry. So, before then. we enter the arena, sorry, I forgot to do this. Is it okay to do this now, Chris? Uh, what is it? Uh, I want to cast flame arrows on um, Fiona's thing. Quiver. Uh, can you put that in chat, please? Sure. Fiona doesn't have a quiver. Flo does, however. Whatever. <laughs> potato, potato. How do you know Fiona doesn't have a quiver? That's that true. I don't have a quiver. What the fuck? Just can't no. stop. Fuck. <laughs> you just Sorry. Oh, I feel like I let the team down then. I know, but I can't lie. Uh, uh, you also, <laughs> have you... Uh, <laughs> How does that do damage? Did it no, where's the display button? We rolled a six, let's go. Ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> six, six, okay, uh, concentration up to an hour. You search your quiver. Oh my god, let's go, thank you. You're at, wait, if you just hit once, your arrows are just cronk. Spell end. It's gonna one hit thing. With five. It is a concentration spell, I know. I don't know who I'm buffing. <laughs> Alright, so you Everybody get 12 uses. Well. Uh, so, yeah, you get um, 12 arrows. Unless I lose my concentration before then. Yes, unless you just. They all do six. Okay, so I get an extra 1d6. Yeah, yeah fire damage. Fire Fucking damage. Christ. I wish I'd used my bardic inspiration now. <laughs> okay, okay. We get in so, position or we just stood like this. Uh, give me 
Uh, no, this is your starting position. Just give me a moment while I <laughs> sort out Imagine this. If, I'm I'm worried. Worried. if any of them are oh, calm, more, we're done. We're actually dead. This is where we're in. Imagine if like a grace period to like run around and then it starts. Mm. Uh, we start in a line. Yeah, you start Imagine the entrance, if I surely. got top. Imagine if I was top right. three in this. Yes, fire them You guys. <laughs> All right. You guys can move 15 feet. 15? Do I get a bit more because I get just gradually, I get more walking speed anyway? I'll let you. That's all like. <laughs> what is I this? Give you 20. Hey, I've got 20, oh, let's go! Lord. Oh, it's 15. Fuck. Uh, can I be uh, in a crouching uh, position? <laughs> oh, God, this is terrible. How have you made it there? Great. Twenty. I get twenty feet Thanks. because I'm. I can move more. I'm assuming Chris has given us just I half our walking speed. <laughs> That's twenty-five. Bro. How are you getting there, bro? Because he started slightly further left than you. Bro, I was there. That's twenty feet. Oh, you just walked over the rock, is it? Chauvet is a god. Yeah, you'd have to. You'd have to <laughs> you You're going feet. around that shit. I'm not bro. gonna lie though, it's still a shit position because they can still see you from there. Yeah, wait, Chauvet's stupid. What the <laughs> fuck? Nah, Chauvet's yeah, not gonna. Yeah, on the side of the rock, they can see you. Chauvet's fucking taking their attention. Sure, then stand in the fucking middle. Nah, well, nah, because they're gonna this see me. Shut I'm so scared, guys. <laughs> I'm just saying. Let's go, Chris. I'm just saying. Sligum and Cockless can see everyone. Clocus. Cockless. Clocus. Yes. He's being called Cockless. Alright, let's see, uh, let's see, okay, what have we got here? Yeah, you know what, I'll do that. Uh, Where's the music, Chris? I think the ones at the back are going to be spellcasted. Music's not playing. Music is playing. Oh, I hear it now. (laughs) It's a bit lower. Uh, Okay, so... I have to refresh uh, my tiny quickly then. So... Oh, so I'm do so we recognise any of these people from before? Because you said we saw two spellcasters. Wait, what? Uh, Shadja, you recognise you recognise uh, the uh, yeah the Tiefling and the uh, Earth Ganassi. That's which ones? Uh, Who was which, which? The uh, that is the Tiefling. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm not on the right thing. That is the tiefling, okay. and uh, where is, and that is the uh, that is the Ganassi. Does Tom recognise the cloak forget she's all wearing? Pretty easily. Uh, you but... just you you just see a sort of a burgundy cloak, which you realise all of them are wearing some kind of like burgundy item of clothing. If, whether it be in their armor or as a cloak. Guys, they're more coordinated than us. Figure what they look like. What are the races of all these people, or do we not recognize that? You see a uh, black dragonborn, a green tiefling, a gnome, a goliath, and a earth ganassi. A dragonborn, a goliath... Cool, so Chauvet can be racist to all of them. Let's go. <laughs> so, uh, so Ganassi, a tiefling, a dragonborn, Goliath, and a... Gnome. 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 Uh, so, <laughs> Shah, there's a 21 here. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's over. We're done. <laughs> uh, you take... Uh, I don't even know who's attacking me. You feral. It's feral. Yes. It's their first. Feral. You okay. take eight yep, points oh, of piercing damage. Oh, that's yeah, okay. the as uh, as a arrow shoots into your side. Uh, we saw that roll. If you want us to be able to see it. No, okay. I just don't range range yet. Fair enough. Two piercing, right? Okay. Uh, eight that's a range of boys. Eight. I'm upset. <laughs> It's yeah. fine, just target me and I'll just go. Guys, 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 guys. Shh, shh. And so, that was eight damage total, just to let you know. Wait, eight damage total? I thought you said yes. two. Yes. No. no, I said eight. Sorry. Yeah, I, that's why I wanted to double check that. Uh, 
because I heard you say two, and I was like, oh, uh... Right, because you rolled the d6, I just brain just yeah. substituted uh, the two. <laughs> before the arrow hit, you saw, you almost had like a sense of um, energy almost course through you for a brief moment. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Also, in response to getting hit, you, oh, you dick! <laughs> I wasn't ready! <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, let's see, and... Yeah, um... Yeah, screw him. Gonna shoot you again. Oh, great. Ranger. <laughs> Thank you guys take all the spaces, by the way. Does a uh, 28 hit? <laughs> <laughs> Holy f- We're fucked. No. It's over, boys! No, it doesn't. <laughs> Okay, uh, you take, uh, uh you take 19 points of piercing damage. Colossus Slayer, okay. Shar is kill. Fucking uh, asshole! Boys, this might be a bit difficult. Next. Up is uh, Verdan. Uh, let's see, what are we thinking? Uh, this is great, Chris is just playing a whole party. I, think I, I told you, you she insulted them at the start. <laughs> <laughs> is that what's going uh, on here? Let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Is it actually initiative diff right now? Yeah! <laughs> like, uh, imagine if like, one of us went now, it would be fine. Tom? Does a 17 hit? Yeah, yeah. You take 10 points of force damage as a Eldritch Blast blur straight into your chest. Uh, as the... then... I should bring it in my notebook. Move What's this orange one, two, three... Is my D&D one? No, but fuck it. What's this orange symbol mean? Well, can I cast Hellish Rebuke? Uh... What's the range of how you should re rebuke? 60 feet. Uh, what's the range between you two? 40. Yeah, sure, yeah. 17. 17 points of damage, okay. Uh, nice. Uh, and that's fire damage, correct? Yes. So, uh, as a tiefling yourself you realize that they also are resistant to fire so they take half as much oh uh, fuck you Chris. okay so verdan is the green tiefling yeah we don't. yeah i'm just writing well, it down no preston knew that bro we didn't yeah we already knew. true what he was tell us. uh what was Farrell? Really? sorry i just writing it down i felt like i did though well, no, you told us there was one. I mean, I, get, I don't know. Mm. Surely we could see Surely that. Surely we could see it, yeah. <laughs> well, I can't, bro. What race is Feral? I also uh, was nerfed in Assy. Feral was the uh, dra Black Dragonborn Ranger. Thank you. Just because I'm writing stuff down. All right, it is uh, Clocus's turn. Copulous. Uh... Let's see. Let me guess. He Clocus. is going to run up to Preston. Uh, okay. I need. I'm just gonna make sure to mark you with concentration. Uh, Hoggers. Let's see. And he is going to use his great axe. <laughs> Barbarian. Uh, does a nine hit? Oh, no. He comes down swinging really hard as you just duck out of the way, and it hits the wall as he then pulls it out to swing again with another hit. Um, where's Clint? I'm presuming Barbarian here, Chris. Does a 14 hit? No. Okay. Uh, Get he, good, uh, guys. <laughs> don't. He, we don't talk to him. We cannot go. <laughs> uh, Bro, chill. I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> Yeah, that's going to be it for his turn. Chris, is he uh, a barbarian? You don't know that. What's his race? <laughs> He's a... uh, Clocus is a forest gnome. Thank you. 
More like smallest uh, clockus. He's also wearing studded leather, which you know barbarians don't wear leather. Or wear. Oh, he might be a fighter something. then. Maybe. Although, I feel like if he was a fighter, he'd wear heavier armor. Oh, wait, did I. Sorry, I went past the. Uh, this. Uh, Silgen. No, no, I just didn't take a turn. Uh. Silgem is going to. Let's see what they got. Is going to. I think. What is my. Of course, my pen just ran out. Let's go. Uh, is going to dash <laughs> round to Badger oh, no. and uh, what is it for advantage? What bind do you hold? Is it shift or shift? Control? Yeah, it'll show. Shift. It'll show as a green plus. Yeah. In okay. Got it. D &D cool. Got it. Uh, is going to attack like that. Uh, <laughs> Does a twenty-seven hit? No. Does a 23 hit? Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, so that will be 19 piercing damage as a dagger suddenly comes out from Road. behind you. Uh, uh, What's Sligum's race? Sligum is a Goliath. And I've got all of the races written down next to their names now. <laughs> yeah, burning, that's what I'm doing here. Snyze is a Genesee. Genesee? Genesee? Uh, Bredon's Tiefling. Carol's I'm also Dragon leaving Gold space Red for their class, Red. but I've only got two out of the four. Goliath and Clocus is He was a, a black character. dragonborn, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's yep. uh, Does a 16 hit? No. Yes, yes. Is hold 16 on, hold on, three words. Three words? Uh, so, as a reaction, uh, creature you can see, blah blah blah, should I put this into the chat? Yeah. Yes. Probably... So, I need to roll a bardic inspiration. Oh! Okay. From... Yes! Yes! And Ugh. that's, my inspiration die, was it six? Yeah, you're a d6, I believe, at this moment. Let me double check that. Bradley, what's your AC? Fifteen. Okay, so... <laughs> Just get anything and it doesn't hit Pog. <laughs> uh, that's a D8 now. Yes. Yes, your Bardic Inspiration is currently a D8. I got a 1. <laughs> oh, that's fine. No, but it okay. still means it doesn't hit. Alright, what are you doing to distract? What are you saying? Also, where did Fiona go? Uh, let's see. Let's insult sure. him. I had heard you Hello. were terrible, but I didn't realize they meant your hideous face. <laughs> All right, the uh, uh, he comes in swinging again with hit on his offhand with his second dagger as you, as um, the blade, uh, as he just sort of looks over for a second, as he just sort of um, instinctively ducks away from a um, like a sound he wasn't expecting, and the slash just goes right past you. It is now your turn, Badger. Hey, so, hmm. Oh, I need you to roll me a con saving throw for oh, that yes, I do, yeah. to make sure that With you're advantage? flame arrow. Uh, if you're a war caster, yeah. Jovi's yeah, gonna shout. What? What? Why did it roll in fucking thingy? Preston Badger rolled con save, yeah, wait, I have that as well. Yeah. I okay, that. that rolled one. Wait, why didn't it roll with advantage? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Oh, here you go. Yeah, okay. You are able to maintain concentration. As oh, good. Uh, uh, is going to shout, please stay where you are. Okay. So. He's not going to run away from them, is he? He's going to disengage. If he stays, Chauvet, I'm like... Shove it, you do not have line of sight on this. You don't know what's happening. Okay, that's fair. Ignore mm. me then. That's my bad. Chris. Yeah. I am going to turn into a brown bear. Okay. Do Give it. me a sec. Yeah. There you go. 
Uh, and let me oh, put in the health. That token! Yeah. Uh, Chris, I actually you... love you. Nah, oh, yeah. this ain't me, bro. This is actually... Uh, is that work. The main work went to Bradbury himself. I just uh, gave him the links to be able to do it. Fair play, Bradbury. Fair fucking play. There you go. That's my brown bear health. Yep. So, as brown bear, I have multi-attack, so I can f attack with both my bite and my claws. Yep. Uh, what were the two races against the ones around me? Uh, Cockless so, is a gnome. But... Sligum is a goliath. I'm going to attack Clockus, because he's probably got less health. Oh, okay. That's why I like that. <laughs> uh, so, you come in and just gnaw at him. That is. 28. Uh, he is not looking good right now. He is like covered <laughs> in bite marks and that. Uh, just and claw mark. And claw marks, yeah. Um. All right, cool. Yeah, I don't have anything for that. Um, yeah, is that it for your turn? You staying where yeah. you are, or are you? Okay, cool. <laughs> Flo, it's your go. Okay. Um, Time for a one-hit kill. Finish Clockus. Well, I might leave that to Clyde, to be honest. Um, Flo is no. going to cast Hunter's Mark, obviously. On to Barrel. Okay. Ranger v Ranger! Do you have line of sight on them? Oh, good point, actually. I forgot about that. Uh, I mean... Yes, you do. You do. Yeah. I, I just couldn't tell from the angle. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Um, let me whack the spell in chat. Yep, yeah, so... That's the wrong thing, sorry. That's not what I meant to do. And... <laughs> concentration up on you. Perfect. Uh, so that's one action, and then... Well, that's your bonus gonna... action, now you have your main action. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then I'm gonna shoot her with my bow. <laughs> Funny that. Okay. Um, yeah. It's also flaming, right? Yes. You've chosen your flaming arrows, so... Uh, Are they poison dipped as well? No, I haven't. I didn't prep that before, because we didn't get a chance to. So I can only one um, Blow! <laughs> so you do 11 piercing, roll your hunter's mark. So roll me two sixes for your hunter's mark and your flaming arrow please um yeah these dipped in poison as well no no i, no, I, I didn't, didn't get a chance to prep that sorry that's so clyde nine... <laughs> yeah why not clyde has helped it's you prepare still, these arrows still two d6s so they yeah. haven't been damaged yet right so it's 20 damage then yeah it is straight up yeah, 20 damage to feral uh oh, let's go Cool, and then I'm gonna uh, shoot her again. I need to make a quick concentration check. Uh, I'm so... move. <laughs> yep, uh, that's made. Uh, so she's still maintaining concentration currently. Uh, attack again for your secondary attack. Okay. Oh, fuck that. that. Fuck that. And then another 26, right? Yeah. So that is currently another 17 points of damage onto Feral. James, it's uh, fine, I can make it. <laughs> I know, I was looking at it, I was just like, how is that a fucking bag, bro? With the two, like, arrows shot in her, some of her armor starting to sort of catch your fire. She's looking really, really bad right now. <laughs> uh, I need to make a quick concentration check on that. Uh, um, buh, 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 what is her modifier? Uh, uh, no, she does not make it. Her, she loses concentration. Let's go. On what? Hunter's mark on you. Hunter's mark on you. Ah. You, you feel the energy leave you, Shai, as the arrow sinks into Feral. Alright, well, so take that. That's what a ranger's meant to do. <laughs> yeah. That was Clyde doing. 
It's not even Clyde. Uh, it's not Clyde's turn yet. Uh, have you? Oh yeah, you have put Clyde in the end. Oh, Clyde's five point. He's lower than me. Oh, <laughs> bless him. All right, shove it. All right, shove is running there. Okay. And he's gonna hit Cockless with the short sword, and I get advantage because I believe I believe because I have an ally. Yeah. That side of them. Yeah. So. Can bang. you pronounce it Clocus? Cockless. It's cockle. It's cockless. Sorry. Also, he's a gangster. Before he says right it, show he's gonna go. Hi, Cockless. Bang. Okay. Okay, that hits. Is he uh, so dead? That's, that's eleven points. Of it's at least eight. Clocus, not Clocus. It's Clocus. They're doing Cockless. Um, that actually he goes down and is instantly hey. wiped from the field Ooh. as a teleportation right. spell opens up below him. Right. And he is okay down straight now. Into it. As a bonus action, I'm going to dash and spend a key point to do so. Which means I get okay, another 40 feet way. of movement. This was not what I planned for, so I can... It's be terrible, bro. Yeah, that's the plan. Going to go up to Feral. <laughs> okay. And slap Feral with the short sword. Slap <laughs> Slapper. Slap her. Not even slice her. <laughs> with the flat oh, side. Oh, nah. Shall I actually Bonker. just slap her on arm strike? No, no. I like just the, the sword slap, bro. Alright, I'm just gonna slap her with sword. sword backwards. Chris, I don't, I don't get any advantage no. on this, do I? Like, no. uh, no. Oh. Uh, let me just double check. Surely that hits. Yeah. It might not. Uh, I don't think it would. I don't think it will. <laughs> that hits. Hurrah! Yeah. She's a ranger, she's like me. <laughs> Meryl, it's, uh, taken out. So we're just gonna turn, look to the group, okay. and shrug. With the, uh, with the side of the sword, you just whack her across the face. Not like cutting her, just whacking her down. <laughs> no. Bang! Shrugs. Bitch! Chris, uh, now that he's gone, what was Clocus's, um, class? Uh, Bloodhunter. Oh. Oh, I didn't realize you were adding those in. Yeah. Okay. I just did. I never, I didn't get a chance to do any blood curses. You. You got rid of him quite quickly. <laughs> I mean, Chauvin's just got a double kill. He's fucking happy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's had help. Assists, though. Yeah, he's had help, but this is the whole point. Teamwork. Yeah, true. And then he can't yeah, do anything else. So that's the turn. Work. Okay. Uh, Shah, it's your turn. Okay, changing my plan. I was <laughs> going to attack the person that Chauvin just killed. Sorry, Burning. But instead, I'm going to use Shatter level three here. Oh, oh okay. wait! What does that do? Okay. Uh, it's, it's... Actually, I need to double check for that quick. I need to check something with that quick for me. Uh, it's a sixty-foot range. No, no, there's something else with it. Uh, it might break that stone. That's what I've just saw. It, it could break that rock. Disadvantage on this save for a non-magical object that isn't being worn. In before Snizer dies, before they even get a chance. Rip Snizer, bro. <laughs> Fucking F. I, you me no, I don't it. think, I don't think uh, Shatter affects terrain. Because uh, yeah. it's yeah, not really an not. object. It, it's it sound like based. A tool. It's yeah. sound based, so... Okay, yeah. um... What's, what's the DC save on that? Uh, DC save is, I think it's 15. Uh... It's probably best to cast it, so you also do have the damage set in as well. Yeah. Okay, DC save of 15, so... Half of their success. They both fail. See? As they, as they take, as they both take 14. Uh, <laughs> so, who, was it Clocus who went down, and... So I hit a the Ranger. And Feral. Feral. So yeah, I'm just sort of closing them, closing those tabs so I don't... Oh, okay, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Verdan and Six. Both take 14 damage. No, oh, Chauvin uh, knows his next target. As I'd be careful. Just an area oh, just erupts out from the... Uh, from that area as they both just ah, scream in pain uh, for a moment before catching themselves. Um, anything else? Uh, yeah, as a bonus action, uh, Shah is going to sing a little note to herself. 
for cure wound, uh, not cure wounds, uh, healing word. Uh, I can use that bonus. It has to be uh, level one, I think. Is that right? Uh, well, no, it's, uh, you, you've used first, a spell, first, you've yeah, used a spell, so you can only use a cantrip as a bonus action currently. No, I have healing word in my bonus actions, first level. I'm barred. Yes, you cannot cast two spells in one turn, unless you have, a, like, the sorcerer mm. thing of, yeah, of, like, or saying it like that. You could, you've already used your spell this turn, so you can only cast a cantrip as a bonus action. It's just saying you can, it's just saying the time required is a bonus action. Yeah, it's a bit shit like that sometimes. Yeah. So you can only cast okay. a cantrip this turn if you want to cast a spell. Okay, in that case, I will use Bardic Inspiration on... Ah, oh, he's right next to an enemy. We'll go Preston. Okay. That's a 1d8, right? Or can I just roll it from here? Can I? There you go. No, no, no. No, you... You, why would you, you don't roll, roll it? it for not... you? Don't roll it for him. It gets I rolled it, at yeah. a time. Oh right, sorry, sorry. Forget that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Forget Preston, you're currently inspired. Oh, that one anyway. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you I, end your turn? I'm going to actually. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna end my turn here. Okay. Not gonna move. <laughs> Tom, it's your go. Here we go. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I'm gonna right, so it's gonna go. Wait if I show it to others. It's gonna start here, so it will hit her, and it'll go out to. All right. Oh, there. You... So it's from there to there. Okay, so Shovish is gonna see this massive fucking ball of fire just it's there. That big, roughly. All right, it just hit, it, it hits both of them. Yeah, you angle it up. So Holy it fuck! <laughs> Do they make this? Don't though, make this. Yeah. Verdant will take half. So you take half damage on fails, right? Yeah. And Verdant then takes half of that. Okay. Well, but, yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Fair. No, you take high. Well, because Verdant's behind a rock. You take half on a fail right. because she's a tiefling. She's resistant to fire, so she takes half. Oh yeah. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she, she's just like. She'll take either fuck. half or a quarter. And uh, con save. Dex save. Oh sorry. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, sorry. My bad. I don't know why I even correct they said it beforehand. Uh, <laughs> so it's So the two types of fighting types and that one was a range of didn't mean to get on top top. Uh yeah, they know one's a wall. Tail. Uh Ooh, so... hey. twenty six and thirteen then. Yeah. Right, because one takes uh, off. Nice. So and then it's so what's 26 half, this is 13. 13. Okay. Uh, Snyzer goes, ah, bye bye. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just Snyzer just immediately went. Wait, Snyzer has less than 26 health. <laughs> okay, Chris. <laughs> Chris, what class was Snyzer? Because oh, Snyzer didn't yeah, get a yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, I was uh, gonna say. Yes, <laughs> I, just for my OCD, I want to fill this out. What was not, what class was the Earth Gonna see? Uh, wizard. Ah, that makes oh, a lot of God. sense. I'm glad Snyzer rode solo on initiative. <laughs> Look yes. at the fireball I... possibility right there. Yeah. Holy there fuck. Was, there was a lot of areas that I could have done stuff if he got higher initiative count. Uh, yeah. uh, Oh shit, we're still on our first turn. <laughs> yeah, we are. Yeah. Yeah, and we, three of um... their team are gone. <laughs> Not over yet. Go on, Tom. So, yeah. Rodan, survive My that. question is going uh... to be... Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you did use a sorcery points with that, did you? I haven't at all yet. Not I was yet. just wondering how Quicken spell works. Because, obviously, you said, obviously, I can only cast one spell a turn. So I guess that's taking my spell, so, so I can't use Quicken Spell to cast another one. No, so what Quicken Spell does, it reduces the time. So if you yeah, use yeah, Quicken yeah. Spell on that fireball, that would have been your bonus action, meaning you still so have then, Yeah, that's what I thought. 
Then you and I can't use, use twin spell and put quicken spell. Can I? <laughs> yeah. Um, you, you can't use spell, it. Like, you I can't know. use it on the same spell, but you could. You could what you what the main gimmick that most people do with it is um, quicken spell the main spell, so such as fireball, and then twin spell cantrip as your main action. Yeah, I could have done that. That's fine. Yeah. So. Um, uh well then I'm just gonna sort of run behind. No, I can't move. I'm gonna run and hide there. Okay. Let's be dumb. <laughs> okay. Uh, Come on, Clyde. I'd say we're on fire, but it looks like the other one's burnt. <laughs> <laughs> I know that was That's more than next inspiration. I know that was more than five. I know that was more than five words, Chris. But please allow that to be said in character because that was fucking great. You know. Come you on. know what? I'll, you know what? Because nothing was said for Preston's inspiration, I'll say that's what you said for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to say something for his inspiration. God damn there it! There you go. Yeah. All right, uh, Fia, what's Clyde doing? Okay, Clyde is gonna like run to the other side. Like, bloop, bloop, bloop. okay. I mean, I worked it out, and it was thirty. I'm pretty sure you saw. <laughs> You're going for it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna need Clyde to do a quick uh, acrobatic can you not, can check you not to do it climb from here? up. Okay, can you run through people? You can't. It's a giant. Uh, you can move through allies. You can move through allies, but you can't move through enemies. How high did you say this rock was? The one next one? <laughs> Five feet. Uh, about seven, eight feet high. Would right, it be more one. likely for him to climb this? Easier for him to climb there, or to run around the other rock? Um, just or threw just me like, over the rock. I would say down. this area here is not really able to hold a person. Just do well, some. He's a crab. <laughs> he is also a giant crab. He okay, is only his is only five, five, he five. Surely this would work. Because <laughs> he can move through me, and he can climb over the five foot rock. Uh, he'll be able to move through you direct. Uh, uh, direct. Oh, there. You oh, know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You don't have to go around Preston. Yeah, you can just go oh. through. So yeah. Oh, so I can uh, just do that. You can move yeah. from Alex. Oh, sorry. Can, can, can she move directly that diagonal? Yes. Okay. Yeah. You can move through an ally space, but not an enemy space. Okay. Well, Clyde will move there then. Uh, I will say I need to be have. Flanking, to oh. uh, yeah, there's no real way you can flank him. Yeah, I need to move. The rock, he's backed himself against the wall, essentially. Okay, in which case I'll just move here. Can I, can, can Clyde attack him from there? Yeah. On the diagonal? Okay, fine. I'll just stand there. It's chill. Oh, um, sorry, just on the side note, Chris. Can I see, like, here? Or am I blocked by the rock? You, the person will have half cover, but you can see Verdan. Okay. Okay, Clyde's moving there and he's just this. gonna claw something. I'm not worried about cover. Yeah. Okay, hey. uh, that is three bludgeoning damage on uh, Silgum. They've it's... taken damage finally. Woo! It's Silgum, Chris. <laughs> no, it, no, it's. It's, <laughs> it's Silgum. <laughs> that was the lowest damage you could have done, aside from missing. Yep, it will. Oh, I must have misspelled it on the uh, token thing, my bad. Uh, Slogan. Cool. And then that's everything. I can't really do anything. It's just... Slogan. Oh, wait, is he grappled? Um, DC 12. Yes, he is grappled. Hey, move him, move oh, him. Oh. Nice one, Clyde. <laughs> Clyde has grappled the Goliath. Go on, Clyde! <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay. <laughs> and then can can he drag him like back a bit? I just want to uh, drag it so that, like. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's like it's between Preston and Clyde yeah. now. Nice. Hey. Okay. Next up is Vadan's turn. Uh, let's see. Do 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 do. Uh, what can I do? They can only see me though, can't they? They can only see Preston. I'm closer. I'd be. I shouldn't be sharp. Yeah, sharp you'd have to or... shoot three people, right? Yeah, Shah would be an awkward attack. Yeah, you got line of sight. Yeah, but she's lower. True. Oh, well, now I just turned into a away, fucking bear. Right. Oh, she, she can see Clyde, I think. Oh. Verdan doesn't know that I took mm -hmm. out two. 
Can't see flow, can't see Shavir, and can't see Tom. I think he's lining up a non line of sight attack. Uh, no, that was... Okay, that's me. So, oh, okay. I'm just checking everything. <laughs> Bonus action. Oh, uh, so, Dan is going to come down here and is going to hex Clyde. Okay. No. What? Cunt. I'm just having a look, see what you can see. Just Clyde. Uh, Clyde, Clyde now has disadvantage on all strength checks. Okay. How dare. Clyde's not going to have another turn, so unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Uh, and is going to use... He's going to do something with a strength check, aren't you? <laughs> I know. Let's check, not say. Wait. Does a 14 hit Clyde? A 14? No. Okay. Clyde just barely ducks out of the way of another Eldritch Blast coming towards him. Uh, Accidentally smacks Shara in the face and kills her. But Dan is going to move there. Oh, Uh, that was very silly of her, Dan. (laughs) How silly. That's a silly move. That's a very (laughs) silly move! (laughs) <laughs> okay, and that will be the lesson. So, um, is going to. And suddenly, I'm... an arrow pops up and moves around the entire board. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to insta kill the yeah, arrow, essentially. Yeah, in it. <laughs> and then. I'm going to end up taking I, I, I flanked. Don't feel bad, Dan. <laughs> you got Sligum right next to you, bro. <laughs> Well, it depends. Someone else could take out Sligum. All right, I'm I don't want to damage anyone attempt else. Attempt to make a strength check. So uh, I need Clyde to roll me a strength check with disadvantage, please. Uh, one thing I want to say: uh, What's Flo concentrating on? On the hunter's mark. On who? She hasn't had a chance to redirect it yet. It yet. It's still it. up, but you don't oh, read that. Oh, Clyde. <laughs> okay. Yes, uh, let's go. Silgum is now free of uh, the grapple and is going to bonus action disengage and join the Verdan over. Monk? Here. Sorry, oh, just a question. <laughs> Monk? Yeah. Um, I-, I didn't realise that grappling is based on Clyde's strength. I thought it was an escape DC. It is an escape DC. Yeah, but. Um... Oh, he's grousing. Oh, okay, no, that's that's <laughs> for the um, that's for the first attempt. Okay. Um, but then from then on, it's going to be strength versus strength. Chris. Okay. Uh, so I I'm think assuming... I think we might have done it differently last session, but that's okay. Silgum's a yeah. monk. Then. Everyone else defended uh, Shar and Tom take care of this area of damage thing. <laughs> right, Chris. Silgum's a monk. <laughs> right, Tom. No. Fireball uh, shadow so... combos. <laughs> uh... If we only we weren't like f- really really low down. <laughs> I can reach. That's going to be his turn. As now it's Preston's go. Okay. Further down again. Also, you could move closer. Not oh, what do I do? What do I do? I'm torn between two options, Chris. Do you think I go for it now, or do you think I wait for the next fight? Welcome up. Up to you. Why not both? <laughs> I can't do both because we, the game would be over before then. Now we get a long rest. Cool. Oh yeah, yeah but it's a risk. Okay, fuck it. I'm going for it. Chris, I'm dropping my concentration on flame arrows. Okay. Chris, <laughs> really? I am casting. This sounds scary. Conjure animals. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, what are you going with? What are you going with? I'm going the bear, with the boars. The boars. Four black bears. <laughs> okay, can you ping here, them where you here, want them? Here and here. <laughs> oh, just you motherfucker! <laughs> you motherfucker! <laughs> you just gonna attack, bro? I have to roll initiative for them. Okay, and, Preston, uh, you cunt! What's, what's the initiative uh, count for a black bear? Plus zero. Plus zero. Okay. Hello, He's just gonna wipe. He's just gonna freaking overwhelm them. Uh, so that is eleven. So uh, add turn. Put that on to eleven. 
Uh, do, 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 do. Send in. Cool. Uh, yep, they're faster than me. Let's go. Wait, how did people. Sorry, because it, it reset the initiative tracker for oh, a moment. Yeah. I swear I was before Chauve last time, I'm confused. <laughs> I, I don't know why well, you're both that... the same. I, 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 I think you both Chavera. had it in school. Oh yeah, valid. You should have your turns at the same time. It's Flo and Chavera are identical? Does that mean they're twins? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Human so, wants to nasty. <laughs> they are surrounded by um glistening black bears as uh, just four of them have just suddenly appeared. Do they share a turn? They do. Yes, they all share the okay. same turn. Cool. And they can each do both a 1d6 plus 2 oh. and a 2d4 plus 2. Char and Tom are getting another turn. <laughs> <laughs> or Clyde. <laughs> Ripper. Okay, anything oh. else? Yeah. Uh, oh, well, I, I just realised to do this, you have to drop your beast form. Do, oh, yes, that's true. Yes, I've dropped my beast form. Yes. Okay. <laughs> just five bears that's on the battlefield cool. at once, otherwise. Well, yeah, yeah, like I can do it, but to be able to cast, I have to be outside the beast form. No, yeah, but yeah, at level 17, you can do it in. I beast could go form, back maybe. into beast form. I, I, at a high level, I can, yeah. yeah. Like 18, I think. It's, it's late. So you've, so, <laughs> you've late bonus, so you've bonus action to drop beast form. You've main action to cast um, yeah. summon willing creatures, and uh, you still have movement left if you want to. I'm gonna hide here. Okay. Flo. Okay, Flo is moving to here. Okay. Oh god. I'm pretty as, sure it was there, right? As you run round to follow uh Silgem, you notice just four black <laughs> Keep in mind, I'm around. just seeing I've seen them appear and I'm just like fair. Or <laughs> well, brown bears, sorry, not black bears. Uh you they're black bears. They're black bears. Like, they're black bears. Because they're trying to break in half. Right. Okay. You should have summoned apes. Uh, Why? I could. They have multi attack. They can do like, literally, if they all hit on average, it's gonna be about like forty damage. Yeah. Okay. Now the play was was it sixteen weasels. That would have been the play. So Flo cast Hunter's Mark on Verdan, with her bonus action. Okay. It changes the thing. Focus, and then is gonna shoot her with her longbow. That's enough. okay. Is that not too close? No. Uh, we've never well... once played with that rule. <laughs> yeah, we've lar we've largely done away with worrying about the range in that sort of scenario. Okay. Uh, yeah. twelve does oh, not hit. Yikes. Yes. Okay. It was right, very go. close. It just clings right off the armor. Imagine I just got two. I'm sorry. She looks really scared right now. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, as I say, she should not have a um, disadvantage on scared. Oops. On scared. On being scared. Come on, Fiona. Hey. That does hit as uh, Verdan is just taken out. Uh... Oh, I didn't even need my hunter's mark. That was extra damage there, didn't claim. <laughs> <laughs> as the uh, hex leaves Clyde. Oh. Good work, Sligum. That ship is one step away from actually getting there. Chauvet, <laughs> you're up. Key point, dash bonus action, I'm right there. It's okay, ah. Chauvet, just take, just relax, you know, take, take and, a turn off. And then, at the, mo at the moment you appear right in front of him, he just puts his hands up, just like, I surrender. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we got a nerd. <laughs> Does that mean I get advantage on attack rolls? No, um... Come. You're not going to show mercy. Nah, fuck that! <laughs> Shavir, at this point, your father stands up. The fight has been decided. Oh, motherfucker, I want to kill this cunt. <laughs> Can Shavir turn around and go, fuck off, dad, and then just swing a short sword at him? <laughs> yeah, guy up. Are you sure, surely he would have been teleported out when he surrendered. Shavir, uh, you're going to get us disqualified. I think he would have been are teleported out, wouldn't he? I, I need you to make me a dex check, please. Me? Oh. Yes, oh. a dex well, check. It's not going to be any of us, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
That's that's okay. No, I don't think so. You are able to hit him before the teleport sigil comes into effect. Ooh. And uh six damage. Yeah. But uh, he gets hit as it's like that's like um the entire crowd just starts booing at you. So we just shrugs. I join in. Are we out of battle now, Chris? You are now out of battle. Uh, uh, what class was? What class? Was I'm gonna walk right up to. I'm gonna run right up to Chauvier, uh to get get past those freaking. What class uh, was Silden, Chris? All and go. What the hell was that? We Hang already on. won, Hang idiot. On. Chris, class. Yeah. Silgum. A, a rogue. Fucking... Why does it matter? He's dead. Because I like. Dead? I want to fill this out. Dead. Fighting them again. Any response, Shavir, what? for what Shah just did? What the frick was that, Shavir? We had to take everyone out. What are you doing? We take everyone we out. Won. We did it. The game was over. Also, now you've just no pissed off everyone else. Shah grabbing him. Not going to try to evade. Shavir's going to try and break out. Fuck okay. Shah grabbing him. What are we rolling, Chris? It, this will be, if it's a grapple, then it'll be strength versus strength. Do I have to do a saving or a, just a normal check? No, strength check. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, you've got a little bit lower. Why you roll lower? Okay, uh, there we go. <laughs> oh, bad rolls all around. Like okay, Shark, you have, you're basically picked him up by the, his, like, collar or whatever. <laughs> it's like, you are, you what are the hell just... Is this doing? Now you're doing freaking. We already won. I don't think surrendering in an actual adventure is an option. You will be killed well, no this matter what. This isn't an actual adventure, is it, Shaver? It's We're being trained cool. for actual adventuring. Treat it like such. These yeah, and classmates. you're supposed to know Not when enemies. to draw the line yeah, inside of this arena. A real adventurer <laughs> knows when to show mercy. Do you think enemies will show mercy to you? I don't think he. I don't think fucking Slim was think, our <laughs> enemy. I think we're supposed to be better than the enemy. Flo's just gonna leave with Clyde. Alright. Well, from the position, uh, Shah's gonna try and push him against the rock and then walk away. Will he take any damage from that? <laughs> I will be oh, fighting. Gosh. I am fighting back <laughs> sorry, from what, that. Sorry, what was that? Sorry? Shah's gonna push him against the rock and walk off. Um, I, still, so. I'll say just for sake of an, like, you know, round, Shove, you don't have a chance to like break out of this. You he you are just pushed into the rock. Um Yeah. You don't take damage from this as it's not you're not doing it to cause damage, right. you're doing <laughs> You're, Bernie, I'm guessing you're sort of doing this to just sort of Scare show the anger of the character. Yes. You know? No, I didn't okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't yeah, have yeah, yeah. you don't take damage from this, but you do feel the hate almost now, yeah. just that is directed towards you. Should I roll into this? <laughs> um. Are you trying to intimidate him? I'm pissed off of him, so I should be pretty intimidating. Yes. <laughs> hey, Chris, what defines a willing creature? So yeah, as I say, probably I'm trying to intimidate him, because he's being an uh, asshole. Someone who would be okay with you casting spells on them. Mm. Should I roll? Would Chauvier count as that? No. Currently not. At the not. moment, probably. <laughs> Cast a spell on <laughs> me, all teamwork goes out the fucking window, and I start attacking you guys. Okay. <laughs> That's a joke, you're the weakest out of any of us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I killed... Four turn, bro. Should I roll the intimidation? Bring my fucking bears back. Yeah, roll, roll intimidation. Uh, Shovir, can you roll me a wind? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you cannot. I'm not rolling because there's no. I can't beat that. <laughs> Fair play, Bernie. Good roll. <laughs> fucking hell. No, I need to know at what extent. Wisdom you save, asking. yeah. Wisdom yeah. check. Well, that's not safe. I'm really pissed off. No, How is wisdom check? Ten. You're quiet. Cool. Okay. okay. Uh, oh. You see almost like the fiery rage in the eyes. This is like the first time you've ever seen Shah like this before. I thought that was not. <laughs> no, Shah's just going to walk off after this. Yeah. Stomping. 
Starting um, away. Mm, mm. Flo and Preston, as you guys get to your entrance, you see a couple teachers there that say that they basically need to talk to your group. Uh-oh. Uh, no, how about just what? us? How about just Shaver? <laughs> how about just the asshole? Uh, guys... Uh, by, at this point, Chauvet has taken the potions out of the pouch and has put the pouch in a different pocket. Oh, Do I see him do this? You probably uh, would, because yeah. I'm not hiding it at yeah. all. Okay. What up, Teach? <laughs> uh, Mr. Quartz is with them. It's like, follow yeah. me. Uh... You are taken into a room where your uh, Chauvet, your father is in the room. Oh, fucking here we go. <laughs> As Mr. Quartz sits with him. Oh, shit, oh, fuck. It is an awkward silence for about half a minute as hey, you Dad. are being stared at. Clyde is clicking his claws. <laughs> Uh, playing one of her instruments. I'm not sure though. Is there a window, Chris? Still kind of pissed off at sure. Uh, yes, this is like a normal sort of classroom area. It's not like a fucking jail cell. Uh, okay, I'm just. I'm yeah, just we just we've just been thrown in jail. Um, Zara though is basically just staring you down, Shove. Not even looking at anyone else, just staring at you. So we're just gonna look back up and just go, "Hey, Dad." Another like. Like ten seconds of silence go, uh, before he looks away, he's like, "Does someone want to explain to me what I witnessed?" Your bad parenting. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck! Please say that, Preston. If you say that, I will fucking. It, 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 it literally just said it. All right, Chauvet <laughs> is going to <laughs> as subtly as he can pass ten gold to Preston. <laughs> Roll piece sleight of hand, please. <laughs> okay. He doesn't have 10 gold. I have 47 gold. What? How did you have 200 and spent it all on potions? He said 150. Yeah, he said 150. So you okay. now have an extra 10 gold. I also gave Shah 3 gold for the pouches, which I'm going to ask back if she continues being a bitch. <laughs> you see, you see both Quartz and you see both of them just follow your hand movement, but not saying anything. It makes it like I paid him to do it. I didn't. I just gave him money out of appreciation. Hey, I call it like I see it, and then I just turn away and look back out the window. Mister Quartz himself is like. You represent this school. When you go out, whether it be becoming adventurers or not doing that and finding some place else, show this. You yeah. still represent this school, and your actions do have consequences for us. Oh shit! Actions have consequences. I forgot about that. I feel like you're doing that. When will you learn that your actions have consequences? Give us a reason why you shouldn't be disqualified from this tournament. Just disqualify Chauvet, honestly. We don't need him. We've got yeah, well, we'll he's, a bad, without him. he's a bad teammate. Are they... Are you sure you're doing that? You guys are saying that? Look, what I, I just said that out loud, yeah. So, same, like, we, we both did just do that. The whole Chauvet puts the pouch going, on the table. The whole point of doing this as a group is so that you can know, so you know how to work together within the group. Whether it, if you stay together after or not is your choice. But if you don't have that experience, then you will never grow and become an adventurer you are all marked together and if one of you leaves you all leave Chauvin now, Chauvin now stares directly at Flo 
What we're saying we is Trevor's actions at the end of that didn't reflect our choices. Some of us have mercy and are decent human beings. Flo stares I mean, directly back you're not Shiver. a human being. Shovit turns back and goes, none of you are humans, shut the fuck up. Okay, racist prick. Actually, I'm half okay, human. I'm okay, Lona bitch. I'm gonna punch Shiver. You wanna do this? Yes. Make an attack. Roll me an uh, I am not. I am not going to critical fail that because this is too intense for moment. Uh, you Please. come in and you try to swing at him. Can I just Show grab his, his arm? Instincts. Her arm. Um, yeah. Roll me a quick dex check, please. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> What are these rolls? Essentially, what almost starts as a punch turns into a this kind of punch <laughs> against <laughs> you guys. Against oh, you guys. No. Like a little cat fight, just like slapping hands in the air. Come on, ladies. Look. Okay, show it. Your dad steps up towards you and slaps you around the face. He's got a roll for it, surely. Let's have a roll for him. Did you evade? Or that was a evade? 19 on the dice. Well... <laughs> Shovit takes, okay. takes the slap, looks up and goes, Oh, it's not been a while. It's been a while since you've last done this. And just stares directly at him, said that out loud. Mr. Quartz looks up and says, like, You were all ejected from the course. Let's go. Pog. Let's go. Really? I guess with that, we're calling it there. <laughs> what? Josh, I hate you so much. Yeah. <laughs> you like your character later. We do not like your character. <laughs> you have all been ejected from the course now. I just got hit by a te someone who's in a te position of power as a teacher. Your dad. You just tried to kill someone unnecessarily. What do you mean? Down them. It's true. Attempt attempted murder was just happened. Was just happened. Just letting you know, you English. clearly saw the guy surrender. And this wasn't a rogue trick. This guy was surrounded by bears. You came in with a sword. The guy did surrender in front Final of Final decision was made and he decided to ignore it. And you can actually capture well, people. I'm tilted. Was... <laughs> I hate that we all lost because Shavir's an asshole. Yeah. Bomb's gonna leave. I, mean, I feel like the teachers could see that we really didn't like his decision. You the rules signing up. <sighs> Shovey's gonna put his pouch on the table. Like, Shover, I don't give a shit about your pouch right now. You literally just Fiona, can you shut it. the fuck up and let me continue? No, no, Dude, that's what Josh. Just this said is to you. this is an actual thing. You have ended the campaign, Josh. I'm attempting to something here. <laughs> that is great what character. This is what we're trying to say. You have effectively ended this campaign. I'm attempting to do something and see Your if it works. Your character was a bigger dick than Batari. Right, keep talking then. I mean, I don't think it's going to change Chris's mind, but Shovit was about to like basically you know say, what? keep them. Fuck it, say it. Say Shovit it. was basically just going to say, keep them in. I'll like, they're fine. I will leave. And just try and save them and leave him. You got Clyde. It's It has been explained that we all pass or we all fail. Shiva, you know you just need to show some remorse and say sorry for your actions. Surely, okay. I mean, that would be, but yeah. Like, Josh, I gave you so many outs to this. Literally. Yeah. You gave me outs, and then you had my dad slap me. No, that was after all of the outs. <laughs> there, there was so many the outs. The slapping was the end of the campaign, bro. That was the end. He gave yeah. you like three at the beginning where he was just like, the guy's surrendering. Are you sure? Your dad has now stood up and ended it. No, are you really sure? And then <laughs> and like, yeah, fuck it. 
honestly, the surrendering. I wasn't planning anything. That was literally meant to be just a whole thing of, like, you guys have won. There's no way this guy is going to win. So I mean, just going to surrender. And... That, didn't we? I mean, Chris, you could yeah. also, uh, your DM, you could have said, no, that role doesn't count. He surrenders. No, that's... it's your choice. You can do whatever no. you want oh, as a character. That's not Christ, the DM. That's, <laughs> that's why I had you roll the decks. That was my way out of using the mechanics, but you still rolled high above me, and I don't fudge rolls. That's so fair. I still had to keep that roll. So you were able to hit before the spellcaster was able to finish casting the teleportation to get him out. You still would have taken a penalty, but it wouldn't have been as bad as if you, you know, d hit the, didn't hit the guy, you know. It's because you still hit him. Like, you could have chosen to hit the rock behind him or some shit, or just stop, but no, it's fine. You just wanted to get another kill. We see, we see. And the fact that you weren't remorseful Kay. afterwards made it even worse. I mean, again, the course is to train adventurers, so we're seeing it as that. You can capture people on an adventure, you know that? I you can know. let people go I on an adventure. That. You can capture enemies. You don't have to kill them. Surrender is a thing that can happen. R.I.P. Chauvet's model status. Everyone at the school now hates Chauvet. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, Chauvet at this point is just planning on leaving the school to keep oh, you guys in. Run back to daddy. <laughs> yeah, he's in the school. At least Chauvet has a family. <laughs> Everyone's gonna lose his state, he's gonna be disowned by his father and just become a peasant. <laughs> hey, Chauvet doesn't like his father anyway. There's a reason why he never went to uh, Josh, I, I generally want to know what is going through your head. Attempting I to save this by Chauvet leaving. That's. You just don't no. want to play your character. No, not what is going through your head. What was going through your head that led up to this? is what I'm asking. In the character, quite literally going, it's an adventure, they ain't gonna show mercy, why should we? Well, you saw the way the group reacted to that, and all the teachers and everyone booing. Everyone was against you. you had, your character had no remorse. I thought you were gonna have an arc. Like, what's the alignment you of your work. character? You have to be fucking evil to think like that, I'm not, like, not being funny. Yeah. <laughs> That's not the and right I'm alignment. Sure people, characters weren't allowed in this campaign, so yeah. I think you can't keep justifying your character's actions. Chauvet is neutral, and then he, so he neutral will be... doesn't matter. Not very neutral. You've made an evil action. Okay, you know what? Can I say, Josh? I'm going to say what I had planned for this. Okay, because we're not going to get to it at this point. Unless we you were going to have a confrontation with your father I mean, that at the you end could, of there was round a, one. You could easily you were still... Gonna, you were going to have a confrontation after round one with your father, at which point Mr. Quartz was going to come in and defend you. And it was going to reveal that Mr. Quartz was on your side all along, trying to actually be nice to you and be a father figure, because he used to teach you your sure? father as a teacher. Are you sure? And knows how much of the old snake. Is Shavir really called Harry? <laughs> and you, I was going to give you the sword you got on the beach episode, which was going to be a dancing sword, which is a rare item. Mm -hmm. And you were going to meant to use it to like show against your go against your father that you were going to go your own route or something like that, you know. I had something planned for your character, Chris. I asked you if up. I asked you because based on the backstory of my <sighs> character that he was forced it basically being forced into doing this, if I could essentially have him want to do something else, i.e., something along the lines of like wizard or anything that way, and you said no. Can we beg the teacher to give us a second chance? I'll work something out at a later point. I can't right now with what is happening, you know. I need to work something out if I'm going to continue this or not. We could continue this as like a Yu Yu Hakusho kind of thing where where the people, everyone boos <laughs> for each stage. 
<laughs> you underdog. Yeah. Thanks, Ninja. Well, uh... <laughs> what are we doing with the stream? Ending it, I think. Yeah, yeah. Till, <laughs> till maybe next us. week, a week after. <laughs>